what happened last time on Cheer Up? Last time on Cheer Up, Isadora fired an eel at a man like it was an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. will happen this time on Cheer? <laughs> <laughs> what will happen this time on Cheer Laden Friends? <laughs> that's not a joke, by the way. That's all the that's all the last time you're getting. This is JoJo. We don't harp on the past. <laughs> it's not important. This is JoJo. If it didn't happen in the last two chapters, it might as well not have happened. <laughs> it may as well have never happened. <laughs> so. We find ourselves in Buffalo Wild One. <laughs> oh, hey, can I just say, this looks great. This looks great! <laughs> this is a level like, of commitment to the bit that we did not need. Like, no joke, <laughs> I don't. I didn't know how you were gonna pull off Chinese restaurant slash Western restaurant. You did good. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I'm glad you like it. It's a slow night here in Buffalo Wild Wongs. <laughs> I'm both impressed and upset with the decor. So, you know, average night at Buffalo Wild Wongs. <laughs> have we received yeah. our food yet? Uh, <laughs> yes, you have received your food. Um, it didn't take very long, considering that there's, like, you know, no one around here. The waitstaff has made themselves scarce, though, to add to the mystique of Buffalo Wild Wongs. <laughs> so, uh, what'd you, uh, what'd you guys all get? Oh, I got Buffalo Maine. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I don't really like the flavor, but I mean, it's all they got. I wasn't. Got, yeah, man, good. I got sweet and sour salsa because I thought it was all I could afford on my budget, but I'm realizing. I'm just paying. Takes a look around. Yeah. Uh, I, it, maybe it was a little late that I realized that you're treating me. She, uh, Isadora continues dipping her, um, uh, <laughs> God, I don't even know what she'd have. Dipping her spoon and eating sweet and sour salsa like a sad person. Uh, <laughs> Donna looks over and is like, um, if you'd like, I do have some nacho mein, so you can have some chips. <laughs> it's also crunchy noodles. It's just a little bit of everything, really. <laughs> Oh, that combination actually wouldn't be too bad. No, that sounds rather nice. Uh, Isadora takes it, dips it in, swirls it around, and then downs it like it's a shot. <laughs> there you go, kid. Nah, nah, nah you guys should have followed my advice. Got the, uh, the Kung Po boy. <laughs> <laughs> it did look good. I won't lie, it looked really good. <laughs> so oh my God. This sucks. How to take noodles and make greasy bread out of it somehow so, yeah. it's like some sort of alchemy or magic or something i don't know <laughs> there's many mysteries surrounding buffalo wild wongs despite any similarities there may or may not be to an existing chain restaurant this is an independent business you can tell by its ill-advised concept <laughs> <laughs> The combination of American uh, American fast food and Chinese fast food is not a graceful one, but they're doing their best. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so I've I've been meaning to ask you guys, um, any you guys you guys find any of this weird? <laughs> This is Orleans back, like, like any part of this. Like, we just got into a life or death confrontation in a pet shop, and I understand if that's, like, I understand if that's part of your life on a regular basis, looks over at Donna, but, like, not, are you guys, like, used to, used to fights, combat, etc., looks no. over at the other two. No, not at all. Didn't think so. I'm used to people dying when I shoot them with my gun. <laughs> yeah, that's Except probably not going to happen. Anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry about so, that. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> that thing was expensive. I mean, eyes across the restaurant. What's he doing? <laughs> a, uh, a farewell, a farewell to Kings is just looking to make some trouble. He's been. <laughs> He's been sampling the flavors of all of the potted plants. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those are plastic. Yeah. So long as he stays out of the koi pond, I'm fine with him. <laughs> Almost telekinetically, his eyes snap into focus on the koi pond. <laughs> so, hey, I won't lie. Um, he reminds me. 
she turns over to uh, Isadora and crunches on a couple chips. You asked us where we got our stands. Um, what about you? You seem to have a pretty good understanding of a lot of what's happened so far. Isadora, Isadora is watching Farewell to Kings as he dives towards the pond, and then like <laughs> her eyes focus in on Donna, and she she starts to remember back to her own backstory, and uh, she her focus sort of like unhinges from this creature as it dives fucking headfirst into the koi pond out after the fish. All right, my stand. Okay, um, this isn't gonna be a good story exactly, but I actually got my stand somewhere near Greenland. Tell me, have you heard of something named the Hole of Soul? Oh yeah, actually I have. No. <laughs> Didn't that used to be a show on PBS or something? <laughs> I know yeah, it was, it was a PBS show, but it was also like a like it's like it's a big well, it's a big hole in Greenland. Well, stuff. it's also a dive bar <laughs> down the road. Also that. <laughs> Listen, a lot of things have been named the Hole of Soul repeatedly, but this one in particular. Isadora stares off into the middle distance and backstory flavor text starts to play. <laughs> That's right. You uh, you begin to tell uh, to tell your tale, which the narrator takes over. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> You've oh heard of it, God. haven't you? Off the northern coast of Greenland sat a nameless island. The local fishermen called it Seal Rock because of the countless carcasses of dead sea lions that would wash ashore. Twelve years ago, due to a certain event, a pulse of energy traveled from Seal Rock and could be felt even on the far sides of the ocean. This magnetic pulse drove animals mad and fried sensitive circuitry, pulling dozens of planes from the sky. According to one war veteran, I can feel it calling to me. I can feel it shaking in the places the bullets touched. By coincidence, or perhaps fate, a luxury ocean liner was pulled to the nameless island of Seal Rock. The first to depart from the ship, Captain Michael Wilson, alongside his first mate, Richard Hawk, discovered something. Carved into the earth where there was once an outcropping of stone, now rested a hole that connected one side of the island to the other. An abyss of perfect darkness, whose gravity no light could penetrate. A scar on the earth that would later be named the Hole of Soul. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh. Excellent reading. Uh, <laughs> Isadora, Isadora relays all of this information in an efficient manner that definitely does communicate the intent. Uh, she she looks up and says, yeah, so I got to, I got too close to that and stand. Boom. Right there. I found it. I found that thing in the hole. <laughs> she points over at, uh, she points over at a farewell to Kings who has vanished into the pond. <laughs> You're quite confident that he is not capable of catching a fish in a small pond. <laughs> so, you must travel a lot then if you're all the way in Greenland at one point. Yeah, um... Yeah, no, I used to be part of a mercenary group. Um, oh. So, when the hole opened up, everyone wanted it for some reason. And, uh, yeah, no, I was, I was sent in to take control of it. Didn't succeed. Uh, everybody else got stands there. Uh, stands that worked and did their jobs. So, yeah, my company was wiped out. Uh, we, we had a, uh, our, our group's luck with stands. Uh, you, you can see what I got, but, uh, yeah, no, I had a personal a friend. farewell who... to Kings pops out of the fountain. This fountain's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you learned to sl swim with your mouth shut this time. <laughs> <laughs> she looks over and like almost proud. <laughs> a, a trail of water dribbles from his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me while I choke a little bit, but yeah, no, one of my friends got the ability to multiply one penny into two pennies oh. <laughs> every five minutes. <laughs> oh. So, like, oh, the whole was pretty arbitrary in who it chose to get what stand. There was somebody who showed up with like at least, I don't know, four stands. Some horse shit. <laughs> she, she, she continues coughing. <laughs> so you're, uh, you're some kind of ex-military type then? <laughs> I wish I was that official. I, I just, look, I was little better than a hired thug. Ah, our our company wasn't very well equipped. Um, we were trying to get into the business, 
uh, trying to make a name for ourselves, and yeah, you see how that worked out. <laughs> motions at, uh, motions at farewell. Farewell to Kings has found a fork and is heading back to the coin pond. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, he's mastering tool usage. I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> where, where did he get a fork? Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> JJ, JJ continues trying to pick up like the latter half of his po' boy with the bad chopsticks this place has. <laughs> hey, did you want my chop spork? It's just like two long sporks. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really be any fucking worse. Sure, hand it over. <laughs> uh, so that's crazy. How'd, how'd you get over here? Oh, I had a... I've had a few jobs ever since. Um, it's not a good... St it's not a good story or even an exciting one. But, uh, I used to work as... Used to work as a private eye, actually. Jump City investigator. Uh, but, yeah, no, uh... With this thing, eating through most of my paycheck. Uh, me following this... <laughs> <laughs> she she folds her hands and leans in and also with my uh i'm i'm gonna be honest i'm narcoleptic i fall asleep a lot and that's been happening more and more lately i could not keep a hold of my office keep a hold of my job and uh Jump City seemed like the most affordable place, that's patently correct, but it's also the least profitable place, so, uh, here I am. <laughs> A great place to visit! <laughs> <laughs> A great place to visit. Oh, so that's... I could leave. <laughs> so you could, like, that's when you stumble in front of cars and stuff sometimes. Hmm, yeah. That might be the effect of something else, like my horrible stand almost drowning me. <laughs> hmm. Did you, like get narcolepsy from the hole? Is that how that works? Mm, or are you just like a, a narcoleptic so. mercenary? Uh, it, well, man, that's even tough to say. She scratches <laughs> the back of her head. My childhood was rough. Um, kind of a confusing blur. Not interesting, just sad. <laughs> oh. oh, damn, sorry. <laughs> Eh. <laughs> Shrugs. <laughs> he he uh finishes pulling up some buffalo mane, scuff <laughs> uh, stuffing it in his mouth, and then he kind of like puts the chopsticks in the box, kind of crushes it up a bit, and then um, so like um, like uh, anyone else like kind of worried about this whole thing, or is that like just just me? I'm. I'm a little, I'll be real, I'm a little kind of freaked out right now. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, sure. I'm definitely confused precisely why the guy was going after the pet shop. Um, he didn't seem to really know that he even had that snake with him. Yeah, that's the bigger problem. Sometimes when people get stands, they just, they feel like they've been given superpowers. And what would you do if you were given superpowers? Like well, ac actually, actually well, functioning ones. Well, he was obviously, <laughs> he was pretty obviously whacked out of his gourd on cheer. So I mean, well, I've seen plenty of people like that. No offense, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so maybe I'm just uh, taking a couple of leaps of faith here, but doesn't it also seem strange that he didn't react to the snake, or more importantly, seeing our stands? Huh. Yeah, I didn't think about that, actually. He should have clearly seen at least Spin Doctor, and he didn't say anything. Not like you, points at Jack. <laughs> oh. I mean, <clears throat> shit, yeah, yeah. He kind of thinks of it, not really putting together the fact that it might be his stand that's attacking him really fully. He kind of... <laughs> so, so they're just like... So that means that normal people can't see him. Right. Right. I guess oh. I, I assume. Oh, yes. okay. Most oh. of you guys are like. That explains I, it's a bunch. while to figure out that no one can see this fucking abomination. Oh, put it back! <laughs> it's like the most obvious God. thing in the universe. Oh, ugh. A Inside fucking fog really. horn begins blaring <laughs> as he yeah. comes out. Yeah. Kill it with fire! <laughs> <laughs> I want to, but you know the rules. If it dies, 
it'll probably hurt him. Wait, hold on. That's actually something to find out. <laughs> Zora like reaches up and like grabs, uh, tries to grab the uh, the 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 little bug with her chopsticks, but they're like it they're is... shitty to the point that she just kind of misses repeatedly. Shit. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. It is. Uh, it is surprisingly considering it's not that small and it's very easy to track with your eyes, but it is surprisingly agile. <laughs> <laughs> She tries to catch it repeatedly, gives up, puts the chopsticks down, and then pulls out a gun. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm pretty whoa, sure. Whoa. Yeah, no, let's, if we're going to test it, maybe don't escalate straight to the gun. That's, oh, good point, good point. She puts it away. Sorry. Reflexes, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hey, the fish stopped moving. <laughs> there's, a, uh, there's a single koi fish. A fat, juicy-looking one that's just chilling out and not evading at all. <laughs> That's my chance! <laughs> a farewell to Kings reaches in with his hand that is not the fork hand. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it, uh, it, it slowly moves away from him, very, like, sinking down into the depths, like, just barely out of reach. Oh no, you don't! He dives in head first and begins drowning. <laughs> Isadora also begins drowning. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit, alright. <laughs> she runs over, uh, using Spin Doctor to like basically be a glove for her as she grabs this idiot and pulls him out. <laughs> I wanted the fish. <laughs> yeah, right. the, the, as, as he got to the bottom and was like, ah, there's finally nowhere left to run. The, the fish is not there. There was never a fish. <laughs> this pond is bullshit. <laughs> Get pranked, bitch. Let, uh, hey, uh, is heads down on the table? <laughs> why don't you just oh. finish up the rest of my nacho main, okay? I'm gonna get something else. <laughs> so, I figure <laughs> we should probably... She's, like, talking over her shoulder back to the crew. We should probably figure out what our next move is. Um, oh, Jacqueline's back. Uh, yeah, we're going uh, to the place, right? God, I, ne Neon I Rose forgot. slaps Isadora on the back with one of its wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I> hit her. <laughs> oh my God, I. Isadora takes two strength, uh, two stands with strength E worth of damage, which is nothing. <laughs> Neither of these stands are capable of doing damage. <laughs> she like, she slowly gets up. Come on, stop, stop, st stop. <laughs> she like pushes this thing away. <laughs> oh, hey, Donna, didn't uh, that Apollo guy gave us like a spot to go, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, um, Donna walks back with uh, two plates of various desserts and sits down and uh, begins eating. Um, it was over by the construction area, right? Uh, yeah, right. I think that. Oh. We're supposed yeah, to. It is. It is. Uh, so the construction site is one way to refer to it. Uh, colloquially, the people of Jump City refer to the portion of the city that melted as the Lost Grid. Oh, ah, yeah, over That's in the Lost Grid, and I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, some guy named Ozzy is what we're looking for. Yeah. Okay, I've been over there before. I tried squatting in the area, but they said that the dangerous chemicals would something something. I forgot the rest. <laughs> she <laughs> says, slowly eating some of uh, Donna's leftover food. Hmm. Uh, Personally, you... I'm uh, I'm not really convinced that this is like actually a thing and not a weird shared fever dream or whatever, but I got my actual job done, so I really don't have anything better to do than go check it out with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what what time is it? Um it is uh, it is getting it is getting quite late. We're at like the 10 11 range. Ooh. You frankly shouldn't be here in Buffalo Wild One. <laughs> yeah, this place closed an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> But you still got your food, all right. <laughs> That's actually pretty surprising. Normally, Josh they call the grabs cops neon by rose now. off of Jack. Fucking <laughs> stop. <laughs> so, here's my thought. First, 
We should actually leave so they can close Buffalo Wild Wongs because we're yeah, yeah, fair. We're being jackasses. <laughs> uh, two. <laughs> I think it would be wise if we all just got some sleep. Because I mean, yeah. Like honestly, I feel pretty good, all things considered. But I, I think just a, a good night's rest looks at Isadora would be very <laughs> helpful. <laughs> Um, As you look away to Isadora, a farewell to Kings reaches up a hand to try and grab one of the, the one of the pastries. Oh, Spin Doctor immediately pops up and grabs him by the throat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Isadora, Isadora's like where you're like, oh yeah, no, especially like looking over at her, she has already started to pass out, and then that happens. <laughs> <laughs> She... Kill me, I know you won't! <laughs> There's gonna be a time where I figure out how, and it won't hurt Isadora. <laughs> it's not today, so you get lucky. She she lets go and turns to Isadora. I'm really sorry. I it was instinct. I completely forgot you two are connected. No, oh, it's fine. This oh. Isn't everybody else connected to their horrible spirit beast too? <laughs> right, but mine leaves and isn't a problem. <laughs> also, it doesn't yeah, talk. No matter, no matter what you do, Isadora, a farewell to kings will not leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Isadora focuses in and tries to will a farewell to kings out of existence. You stare with hyper laser focus, but not only does he not leave, his bald finish remains waxy. <laughs> Isadora's eyes like tighten up the sun, <laughs> the bright lights catching it. Yeah, that's awful. <laughs> okay, so my thought process is we all get some sleep. We meet here, or do you want to just meet in, in the Lost Grid? Hmm. Yeah, we could just meet there. Okay. Yeah, it's only extremely dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we should meet outside of it and then go in together, because if we're like, let's meet in the Lost Grid, and we all enter in different areas at different times, it's going to be bad. Here, uh, she sets down a couple of business cards on the table. Oh, uh, yeah, he... business cards? I thought you were a boxer. I still make deals <laughs> and sponsorships. Uh, with, uh, uh, she hesitantly grabs one and kind of looks at it on both sides. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, well, I guess we could just head on back home. I mean, yeah, I haven't been back in a bit. Should probably make sure all the doors are locked anyways. Uh, did you break <laughs> up with that bitch already? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that was literally what we were doing. And then I just kind of went on a walk. So, got room now. He, um, he kind of sits and awkwardly kind of shuffles in his seat but yeah yeah um i can go hey hey isadora you going you going with donna or what what's up uh isadora definitely does want a place to stay the night but was like way too awkward to ask <laughs> anyone so somebody bringing it up she like she looks out uh ooh, I, I i don't know where uh where where would be better where i mean i got an apartment that's big and got now empty-ish. You, you got anything you like in it? He thinks. Not really, I'll just... The air hockey to... table! <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... I've got, like, a thing I can put in a box and sleep with. Okay, good. <laughs> if it's in a box, I don't think. Looks <laughs> <What's laughs> over in farewell! Mm, like, yeah, I'll tape it. I don't think he can get through that. I mean, you're also more than welcome to come back to my apartment as well. Um, I've actually got a, a balcony, so um, she leans in. If, like, we close the glass door, can he come in? He'll jump off. <laughs> You've done it before. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so the Farewell King definitely can't phase through solid objects. <laughs> Listen, when I was uh, when I was a private investigator, we were up on the third floor. Yeah, no, uh, one of the things that got me to lose my office in the first place where I was sleeping was uh, hospital bills due to mysterious broken bones from a certain someone jumping off of the third floor. <laughs> it was euphoric. <laughs> right, well, I guess um, if you want to come back with me, we will lock that. 
<laughs> that that actually yeah let's let's do that for now uh if if this continues on i'd love to stay at your place for any i could like pay you hold on she no no she no, no, no no down don't. into her wallet uh donna puts up a hand no don't worry about it it's fine <laughs> okay also gm i need my legs <laughs> oh you need your legs gm okay, okay i do <laughs> I'm I'm so sorry. Have your no. Life. It's fine. I fell asleep here. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid uh, I can't extend the same offer, but it sounds like you've already got two options. I gotta that, go. That's okay. See a guy about a thing. I'll meet you guys there. Are we going in like the middle of the night? Uh, uh, I, I think night would probably be a bad call. What? Out of character. What time is it now? It's like ten. Uh, night. Yeah, it's like ten. Okay, but weren't we told we had to go there before the end of the day? Um, not expressly. It sounded like they wanted you to go before the end of the day, but... Shrug. <laughs> Alright, well, hmm, I forgot about that detail, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I mean, if Dreamon's mad about it, he'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, he's, he sure does have a way of telling us. Oh, that's true, if we take a nap, uh... he'll find us. Should we just I mean, go deal with let's this? Just let's just will wake us up at 3 a.m. and we'll just... Okay. Let's All right. just... Let's be fine. Oh. Wait, where, where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't... Jack opens the door. I mean, you, you just said he always follows you, right? So, it should be fine. Hold on. I got an idea. Uh, <laughs> Donna takes out her um, leftover cake and sets it on the floor and opens it and walks away. <laughs> you need to bait the animal <laughs> Joshua bends down picks up the cake and starts eating it god damn it <laughs> well, you put the cake on the floor obviously you're done with it I'm going to be honest leans over to Joshua if you hadn't done it I woulda <laughs> you want some yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He there, as he said before. There's no forks, so he basically like takes one chopstick, tries to like saw through the cake with it, really terribly, inefficiently, <laughs> and cuts off kind of a piece. And then he eats, and he hands the rest to Isadora. Isadora spears it with the other chopstick and starts to eat it like it's a corn dog. <laughs> Not important at all. Where the fuck did you get this asset? What the fuck is that? Uh, that's a flaming bull. It's from a spell effect asset <laughs> back. <laughs> I don't know why. I, as far as I'm concerned, this is the only time it would be useful. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You did it! You you used one of the forbidden, unusable assets. <laughs> Impressive. So, um, so just so you guys know, from strictly meta standpoint, it does not matter to me whether or not you go do the plot now or want to RP before, because that's pretty much the only difference is the order that uh, that these things are going to happen. Well, we just had a decent little bit of yeah. RP, so why don't we go do yeah. the plot and then we might have time to RP at the end. Exactly. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> so, so you guys, uh, you guys start heading, you guys start heading out on your way. The owners of this restaurant are like, thank fucking God. <laughs> Ass hats. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of jackasses. Oh. So you guys, oh. you guys make oh, your way shit. into the lost grid, oh. which is in eerie portion of the city to say the least most people summarize the uh, the events that transpired here as the buildings melting and although that is somewhat accurate it's not entirely accurate some buildings melted others just grew massive bubbles and bursted it's it's a whole strange affair to say the least as you get further into the center of the city, it gets more and more bizarre. But fortunately, you were not instructed to go too far in. Yeah, how do you guys how do you guys feel about your general surroundings? <laughs> very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> I think JJ has probably been here sometimes for like 
deals where it's like we got to make sure this happens in a place where no cops could possibly be like surveilling us so he's probably had to come here a decent number of times yeah you i imagine you have a certain comfort level here and honestly it's a lot safer than you might believe just don't fall down the massive holes and don't go prancing on the massive bubbles in the street because sometimes those burst and that's no good <laughs> Isadora is super on edge. Like, she's been to places where, like, there was some big event that caused, like, devastation on this scale before. And, like, old instincts start coming back for about 30 to 40 seconds before she realizes she's keeping an eye on a horrible stand that's probably trying to eat shit off the ground in this chemical toxic wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, it should also be noted that these uh, these piles of liquid are no longer liquid. They've re-solidified back to the hardness and texture of concrete. Huh. Mm. But it's as if they are frozen in time. It's not a not a great sight. Uh, it also goes without saying. A lot of people died when this happened. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's uh, uh, there's large amounts of uh, of cars that crash into things, entire buildings that collapsed, streets that are no longer existent, things like that. Oh, oh, this is like God. like a picture of a middle, just a boiling sea or some shit, man. Like, <laughs> like fuck. <laughs> that building over there looks like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Actually, you that was the uh, that was the Jump City Egg Memorial. <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't remember about that? No. Well, yeah, I no. Mean, I, say, I say was it basically still is the Jump City Egg Memorial that that's, was actually completely untouched. That's fair. Yeah, no, that was the the one time they wanted to, you know, have a parade of chickens to celebrate the various poultry farmers, and um, that truck came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it's a memorial. Jesus Christ! You think back to the billboard. <laughs> hey, yeah, I realize people, everyone, like obviously, everyone knows about the Great Melting, but a lot of people forgot about the Great Scramble. Oh, <laughs> I knew where it was going. I knew it. Yeah. Uh, Zanori looks over. I realize this is functionally my home now too, but uh. City's awful. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so sorry. This place sucks. I mean, <laughs> Donna, like as she's going, she's like, I think, like it's not spectacular, but I mean, there's some. At least we got, at least we got the jackrabbits, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone yeah. just kind of like looks at the ground. <laughs> okay, maybe it is kind of bad. <laughs> You uh, you continue making uh, making light conversation, possibly because you want to, or possibly because oh, you yeah. want to distract yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, that that part. <laughs> that that. Yeah, that. <laughs> uh, regardless, eventually you do make your way to the uh, to the described portion, and fortunately for you, it's it's a mostly not ruined part. This is uh, this is a, a small portion of a construction site that was uh, likely supposed to rebuild one of these melted buildings. Unfortunately, the Lost Grid has this habit of claiming the uh, the tax dollars of anyone who wants to try and rebuild this part of the city. Uh, I'm gonna be real. I super thought this yellow truck over here was like a missile, and I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" What the fuck? Uh -oh. <laughs> nah, it's a cement mix. It's coming right at us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that's, this is the construction yard, I think, right? Yeah. 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 He, uh, takes wide berths around the, um, the popple streets, the, the watery bubbles and the, the general destroyed terrain. <sighs> this Can looks like, thoughts? yeah, this looks like, a. Looks around compared to the rest of the uh, city. Looks like a great place to visit. To visit. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I love this gremlin so much. <laughs> a farewell to kings has a habit of regurgitating things that he manages to read. That itself is a struggle, but he really <laughs> likes that billboard. <laughs> You know, that might be the only thing they agree on. 
I'm surprised this stuff is even still here. Usually the homeless will take the, uh, you know, the steel and wood and sell them for pennies on the dollar. <laughs> is always looking at it? <laughs> uh, let's see here. I, I assume there's like a lock on this or something. Uh, there is a lock, but uh, but the gate the gate is unlocked. Seems very deliberately so. Okay, so what do we know about this guy we're looking for? We only know he likes cheeseburgers. That's the one. And we gotta that talk to him about something. <clears throat> yeah. We need to chat with him uh, about, um... Oh, God. Oh, oh. <laughs> It is oh, the middle God. of the night. <laughs> um, hey, fucking, no. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> God, it really fits like a glove over okay. your face, huh? <laughs> Do something useful. Go up there and see what you can see. He's gonna send Neon Rose up decently high into the air to survey this place from above and see if there's any signs that someone is here or has been here recently um so yeah uh you uh you he surveys the general surroundings and uh and you do see uh and he does come back and confirm to you that uh that there is a that there is a man sitting on the roof of this building oh oh, oh. Hmm. okay so there's some guy in sunglasses sitting on the roof I assume that's who we're here for. What are we supposed to do exactly? Introduce Talk. ourselves. Talk yeah. Him, yeah. All right. Uh, All right. Well, let's go. Let's, yeah. No use wasting time, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh, you approach. Uh, he stands up and calls down to you. Halt! <laughs> yeah, but I startled you, didn't I? Yeah, uh, mm, no. yeah. Yeah. Oh, no? <laughs> no, no, we saw you. Oh, man. Did that, did that gigantic lens flare decide to do some scouting? Darn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was ours. Is that why you have sunglasses? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you he have an extra. <laughs> he readjusts his sunglasses. I do have extras, but just for me, sorry. Nah. <laughs> He uh, he squats uh, he squats down on the uh, on the lip of this here building. I can I can put on a different track. <laughs> he uh, he squats down on the lip of this here building. <laughs> so glad you all made it all right. I was kind of worried you'd mill around for a while. Apollo <laughs> has a bad habit of attracting people who aren't very interested. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I'll I'll be real. We really thought about going home. <laughs> That's silent. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> listen, we're interested, but we also, yeah, we were hungry. <laughs> yeah, tired. <clears throat> you know, completely, completely reasonable. Yeah, from what I understand, you guys, uh, you guys had a bit of a scrap before you got here. Uh, yeah, putting it mildly. Um, we were at the pet store, and some guy was going on and on about being a god. Uh, had a stand, but he didn't seem to notice it, or even ours. Uh, this man cocks his head. That's a little bit odd. But that's, I've heard stranger. That's pretty bizarre. <laughs> Let's not get overzealous here. <laughs> it's Dora, like, elbows Donna. You put that much better than I would have. I was gonna say we fought a snake at the pet shop, and that just makes us look crazy. <laughs> just don't mention the part where you fired a kneel at him. Mm. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry, introductions. Hi, I'm Ozzy Goodridge. Uh, hi, Ozzy. Donna Francine hi. Sinatra. Hey, yeah. Ozzy, Isadora, nice to meet you. <laughs> Charmed. JJ. Jack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ozzy, uh, Ozzy comically holds his hand up to his ear. What's that? Can't hear ya. Jack Stauber. <laughs> Come on, get a little, it's not like I'm gonna bite you. Come on, man. <laughs> he, he steps closer. Ja Jack Stauber. A pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> He uh, he kind of he kind of sits down, leans uh, leans one leg over the uh, over the lip of this building, real cash. Huh. So you all made it all right. That's fantastic. 
Yeah. Don't suppose Apollo gave you much to go on, though. No. No. We were told you like cheeseburgers. That's actually it. Only the most vital details from Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate, though. No, um... Well, suppose I'll be as upfront as possible, then. That man at the pet store. He's not unique. There's all sorts of, uh unhinged folk going around as soon as they get a stand they just lose it and they start thinking they can get anything from anyone uh, is that fair seal rock all over again somebody can make two pennies out of one penny and they just go mad with power <laughs> <laughs> ozzy ozzy nods yeah it's a shoddy deal <laughs> fortunately there's occasionally good people who are willing to deal with these problems people mm. like you um, yeah, I guess. Mm. It's not really our forte, to be perfectly honest. He, uh, he looks down. But what if it was? Well, consider I'll... me convinced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be, be, uh... I'm gonna be real straight with you here, Ozzy. I'm, uh, I'm here because I want to get rid of this thing so that I will not have to deal with this horse shit anymore, so... Yeah, I'm kind that... of the same. If your pitch is deal with a bunch of this horse shit, it's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy, uh Ozzy's smirk kind of fades a little bit. Oh, that was the that was the hook he set out. All right. <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks back up. Well, that could be arranged. Also, we yeah. have uh, we have a girl for that. She can get rid of stands. That's right. Now. I'm gonna be blunt with you. She's not the most personal in the world. She's kind of a kind of a crab apple, just between uh, plus just between you and me and us chicken memorials. <laughs> What's her name? Oh, uh, I call her KJ. Hmm. That's not her full name, but it's fine. You'll you'll meet her presumably. Uh, question. Uh, Answer. Someone puts up a hand. Okay. Uh. Now, I, more than probably any other living being in this world, would love to get rid of that thing. <laughs> Looks over at Farewell to Kings. Beans, but... beans, beans. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, are like, if we're doing work for you, is this a, is this a contract? Is this a job? Are we getting paid? Oh, yeah, no, that was part of the initial pitch, but you kind of steered me away from it. No, you no, know, no, that's that's more than enough for me, honestly. <laughs> the acts of Good Samaritans, although great, go unrewarded quite frequently. And I'm sure you'd like to line your pockets a little bit. Listen, it's easy. I just need a place to sleep. <laughs> that can be arranged also. See, we can help each other really, uh, really well here. But hey, if getting rid of your stands is all you want to do, then like, hey, who am I to stop you? He kind of uh, he kind of pulls his glasses down a little bit. But um, between you and me, I think that's kind of an idiot move. Hmm. I'll be honest. Um, depending on how these jobs go, I may want to keep my stand, but there's someone else I want to get rid of theirs. Oh, vengeful. Hey man, I mean, if she if she's doing something illicit, then I you know I don't really care too much about who it is you're bringing in. I just want yeah. a fair fight. Ozzy, Ozzy, uh, Ozzy yeah. shrugs. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah, yeah man, I'm, uh, I'll be honest too. Gotten out of bed and gotten dressed and draped a fucking ring of Christmas lights around your neck. <laughs> Can't say I have. Yeah, I haven't by choice either. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, I think I'm uh, I'm pretty confident in my decision for now. No, I just I almost died. I don't want to do that again. You know, well, that's fair. I don't know your I don't know your entire lives, your personal history. I'm just a guy on a roof. As <laughs> the door takes a step over. Wait, hold on. Do you know this guy, or is he just giving you bad vibes overall, or are you just skittish by nature? Hmm. I don't know. I'm. I just feel weird about this whole thing. Hmm. I don't. I don't know him personally, or unless I do know him personally. Do I? I don't think so, though. You don't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can't. 
so far, it's one of him and four of us. I don't think you'd lose anything by at least checking it out. And if your stand's bad news, I think it's probably a better idea to get rid of it. Because whether you like it or not, stand users are drawn to other stand users. So, running away from this is definitely an option. Yeah, absolutely. But unfortunately, and I've figured this out by, cho uh, <laughs> by my own decision to run, trouble has a habit of following. So, hmm. <laughs> Ozzy, Ozzy frowns a little bit. Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to be the one who doled out the wisdom of stand use as attractive as stand use. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got that... thrown in a hole once and had to crawl my way out. I'm allowed to dispense like this much wisdom. <laughs> Drummer, proceed with dispensing. <laughs> no, I'm done. She sits against the corner of the building and just sags, holding her, uh, holding whatever she's she kinda, carrying. kind of, like, holds up his finger and speaks up as she goes against the wall. Uh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> she offers you a very, very sleepy, like, okay sign. So, are you a part of some sort of group, or...? Indeed I am. That group being? He, uh, he readjusts his sunglasses. I don't think I'm allowed to tell you before you pass initiation. What? <laughs> oh my god, is this a fucking fraternity? <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite. I mean, we are we are a bit like a family, uh, but... <laughs> Alright. But, uh, he, uh, oh, we kinda... The... He kinda steps, steps back. Uh, dude, is this the mob? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like know anything about that? I don't think. I as long as they don't, as long as they're not in the same line of work as me, this shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> he kind of steps back, doesn't really say anything, just kind of rubs his nose with his finger, and then just nods. Yeah. Uh. Sure. Yeah. Well, what's this uh, initiation thing? Oh. Well, uh, that's very simple. All you gotta do is beat me in a fight. <laughs> we should have gone to the roof. <laughs> 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 he uh, he kind of he kind of leans down. See, we don't we don't really need people who aren't good in a scrap. You know what I mean? Uh, suddenly manifesting from oh, him, shit. <laughs> you see a stand. Oh fuck! That's dope he, uh, as hell. He, uh, he kind of, uh, he, he readjusts his glasses yet again. I'm gonna make it real easy for you. He, uh, he holds up, uh, he holds up his left hand, and the stand does so in turn, and the two of them put their hand behind their collective backs. <laughs> All right, then. Let's see what you got. Uh, he does, uh, he does a rip-roaring backflip and vanishes from your periphery. Ah. Oh, shit. Okay. Here I, we uh, go. I leave, uh, I, I'm gonna just immediately, two hype man action saved. <laughs> two hype uh, man action saved? Uh, cool. That was it! That's why it was kind of putting me off, man. He was standing like a guy that was ready to shiv you, dude! <laughs> <laughs> you say this to Isadora, who has fallen asleep over here. <laughs> he kind of, like, picks up a rock and throws it and just tries to hit her on, like, the shoulder. <laughs> You're tagging. She stands up. Wait, what? Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, yeah gotta, fighting. Gotta roll that hot niche, and also gotta roll your hot hit points. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So that is that's durability plus uh, your your four times bronze. Wrong thing. Okay. Yes. So. Oh. Those double ones. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Oh, I'm so buff. Oh my god, you're so ripped. Holy shit, JJ has more health than Isadora for this combat. Oh. Okay. Okay. I did, did pretty well on the, the hit points. Oh yeah, I did oh, too, right. we got the the grody hit point bar. Hang on, there we and go. then sorry, initiative is one d six plus your speed modifier. There's a button. There's a button. You click yeah. on your icon and then uh, click initiative and then. So fill there it. is. Mm -hmm. Okay, dokie. 
And you add your uh, bravery score and your speed modifier. Spin Doctor's slow as dicks and fuck me. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh. All right, Jack, you and I are slow folks. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. I got no HP, but I'm fast this time. <laughs> All right. Has everyone rolled their uh, their everything that they need to? Uh, yeah, I yep. believe so. All right then. We're gonna we're gonna sort we're gonna sort that shit. Isadora, you're first somehow. I don't understand. She's hit with a rock and then she pops up and just wait wait wait. We fighting? Who, who are we fighting? Who's going down? Uh, apparently, we're fighting Cheeseburger Kid. <laughs> uh, she how how high is the building? Uh, the building, it's, um, it is an incomplete two-story building, so it's just one story right now. Oh my god, okay, uh, Isadora is going to take the thing from her back, actually unsheathe it, throwing off the cloth, revealing this sort of grotesque, like, almost, it, it appears to be almost made out of chitin, uh, and it's sharpened to a point. You can very clearly tell that this is a spear, but... God, whatever it is, it's not a spear like something that you've seen before. It almost seems to have twisted, like, almost wing-like appendages wrapped around as some sort of ornate filigree. She picks it up and, using this incredibly dangerous-looking weapon, jams it into the wall and attempts to use it as a foothold to climb up, <laughs> leaving it behind. <laughs> yeah, um, you succeed. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, uh... Yeah, you uh, you go up on top of the roof, but you see that Ozzy is not up here. Where he backflipped to is only a hole in the roof. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. She's gonna run over to the hole and end her turn. Actually, let's yeah. let's set a secret action in the process. All right, are you hopping down the hole? I don't think she's hopping down the hole yet. She's just taking a peek through. Okay. All right, um... Yeah, um, Ozzy, Ozzy does things secretly. Oh, shit. Joshua! Oh, boy. I, I've noticed that sometimes people are saying I set a secret action. Is that something you are expected to say, or is the fact that you're even setting them up combat. secret? Um, if it's in combat, you need to actually, I, you need to, like, actually register that you're setting one. Okay. Uh, just so everyone's aware that you are yeah. planning something. Think of it like, if we were playing in person, you would put a cue card face down. You would put a card face down! And, and defense uh, mode. And, and, and your turn. Can, yeah, yeah, essentially. To defense mode. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, well, <laughs> Josh is going to send Neon Rose back up because he can't see that the guy's not there until it gets up to a decent height and sees, like, oh, yeah, he's not there. Interesting. Uh, and he is just going to... Uh, he's just going to turn around and just walk. Back through these gates. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> um, and uh, how far can you move in this? Um, you can uh, you can move three for free if I remember correctly, yes. and then you can move another three if that's your action. Yes, yes, no. Yeah. Basically, you can move three. Another three for a secondary action, and a full extra six if you use everything on your turn to run. Exactly. Okay, you know what? Actually, there's no need to go all the way over here when there are perfectly good bulldozers to be had. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Josh's turn is going to be going over here and getting into a bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gosh. All right, fantastic. Jack! Okay. Um, mm, Jack is going to... Uh, well, he is going to basically step back um, over here. Stepping close to, but not directly up against the uh, barbed wall, wall and just all preserved for secret a or um, hype man actions and just kind of wait. <laughs> all right, so you uh, you just you just hang back. All right. Mm -hmm. Donna, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna be so impressed how you managed to announce things that are happening in a building you can't see. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so there's still a spear uh, in the side of this wall, yeah? 
Yeah, there's also a door right in front of you. Uh, Donna has her own idea. Donna's gonna walk over and uh, grab the spear, and then she's going to use Spin Doctor to make, uh, she pulls out a bunch of lint from her pocket and does lint to lift, and she's just gonna float to the top. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, awesome. But, but I'm gonna take the uh, the spear with me because she's like, why the fuck would you leave the weapon behind? <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you retrieve uh, you retrieve Isadora's weapon, and man, does this thing not feel good in your hands? Oh, mm. gross. Oh god. Uh, let's see here. So I guess I can then one, two. Uh, I hand the spear here. This is yours. I don't I don't like that. No, I keep it wrapped up for a reason. It's horrible, but it also won't leave me alone. Like, even more, as attached as a farewell to Kings is to me, this thing is more so. Ugh. Like, it'll find its way back automatically if I leave it places. It's bad. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she picks up the spear. No, I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, and that is really all I can do. I'm not going to set up a secret action because I don't have one right now. <laughs> All right. Isadora. Uh, Isadora's going to pick up the spear and hop down the hole. Okay. Um, I'm just going to move you off to the side for clarity. Oh, sure. Oh, she sets another oh. secret action before she jumps. Um, okay. Let's do that. Okay. All right. You, you hop down. Uh, you hop down below. This place is a dump. <laughs> Uh, she, this she, place is a dump and the lighting is terrible in here. She hits the ground like she she jumps in the air but hits the ground at an angle that would shatter anybody else's ankles. But she uh she she poses gracefully midair, hits the dirt and like wheels around the uh the side of this uh this wall taking a peek. She she peers through the growing darkness feeling a sense of dread. You, okay, bastard. Where are you? <laughs> you feel uh, you feel a sense of dread, but you are given no hints to his location. She uh, she's gonna scoot in this direction. All right, you scoot in that direction. <laughs> I'm scooting. You uh, you scoot in that direction, and then and then leaping out from the pile of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Leaping out from the pile of garbage, Ozzy is behind you. Left yourself wide open. No, no way! <laughs> <laughs> she sweats and turns, but it's too late. <laughs> All right, Ozzy, uh, Ozzy is going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to? Uh, what are you, he's going for an? He's going for a classic punch ghost flurry. What are you going to oh do to defend God. yourself? She's going to pick up her spear and do her best to actually fight back against the stand using it. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck indeed. The spear is okay. It's three d six keep two, which will probably stop me from dying. Most likely. Helps. Helps indeed. All right, hold on. I did a bad job managing my tabs again. <laughs> let me let me hype man while you're doing that. Um, uh, Jack looks sweating. Man, she hopped in, but I can't see her. And then he starts <laughs> hearing the sounds. What's going on in there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that good one point. Yeah. That good extra one. All right. Honestly, uh, appropriate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ozzy's, uh, Ozzy's flurry of blows catches you, uh, catches you off guard. Uh, you manage to, uh, you manage to block as best you can using your spear. You take, you take three points of damage. Okay. Uh, Isadora, like, spirals backwards through the air, leaving a trail of blood behind her. She slides across the ground and steadies herself using her spear. Spits out, just spits out a tooth and looks up at this guy. You're one of those bastards, aren't you? One of those bastards that got a good stand, huh? She stands <laughs> up and braces her spear against her back. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't that interested in a fight, especially if you're gonna be paying me, but cracks her neck. Oh, it's personal now. <laughs> Ozzy, Ozzy taps the side of his nose with his finger. His stand acts in turn. I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, however, uh, in him not telling, he does do an additional thing. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Um, you see, uh, you see, uh, 
you see uh, his stand his stand move uh, move his uh, his left hand very swiftly in a slashing motion it's going to hit you but it doesn't hmm? huh wonder what happened then uh, as you're uh, as you're pondering that thought uh, the the roof here collapses <laughs> <laughs> Leaving you behind a pile of rubble that I will indicate as soon as I find one. <laughs> there we go. Oh, so she's like trapped in there, eh? Oh, that's good. <laughs> is, is she trapped? I assumed this was an entrance. Yeah. Um, no, that's not an entrance. That's a scaffolding. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, okay. Where? Oh, okay. This is the one so, actual door. I got your back. Don't worry. I can oh, get I you out. Okay. 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 I see now. I, I was looking at these as if they were like ramps up to presumed doors, but I, I, it's just because I didn't notice the actual doors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Josh, uh, drawing on his life of crime, is gonna see if he can hotwire this bull <laughs> <Yes! laughs> Uh, okay. Roll, roll brains against fate, I suppose. <laughs> Come All on. Right. Uh, let's see, my brain... Brain's modifier or brain score? Uh, it's the same or... thing. Because it'll be a D6 plus um, whatever your brains is. So Oh, five... right. Sorry. Yep. I was thinking of them like the stand ones. Oh, where they sure. Went on that like negative five, negative three kind of scale. Yep, okay. yep. Nope, nope. Uh, you're good. Slash roll 1D6 plus. Oh. Oh. All right. That, it's good that you rolled that high because fate rolled really well. You hotwire the bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, he is gonna drive the bulldozer <laughs> into the building. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what sort of how many actions this is gonna take or what exactly. Um, you. All right, <laughs> you, get the, you get the bulldozer into position at least. I'll worry about how to handle this situation in a round. <laughs> okay, and um, I forget it, what type of action does it take to like move my stand? Does the stand get its own move or? Uh, Christian, Christian. Mm. Um, your stand moves uses the same actions you do, but your stand can't actually move by itself. Yeah, it has its own speed score. So, okay, um, the stand's movement is separate from yours. Yeah. Okay, and the stand's gonna. Seeing that he's not on the roof, stand's gonna come back closer to me. All right, and I'm cool. gonna. Yeah, that, I think that's. Yeah, that works. That's my rule system. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, so if it's Jack's turn, he's gonna trepidatiously take steps forward, um, using that action and that one to kind of like peek through, like, over past the door? Uh, door never got opened. Okay. Then he's gonna <laughs> use his last action to kind of go up, open the door, and then just run the full distance and crouch behind these wooden boards. Uh, right. You you run in, you crouch. Man, it's dark in here. Oh, uh, I still can't see shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, roll, uh, roll your, roll your, hmm. Let me let me think what you're rolling here. Let's call it your brains. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Jack. This will be fantastic. Ah. Ooh, not half bad. All right. Um, as you uh, as you focus uh, as you focus your eyes in in the uh, in the darkness, you see you see Ozzy. Huh? Yeah. Oh. He's just standing there, hands in his coat pockets, looking cool. <laughs> I say still can't see me. <laughs> Donna. All right, uh, Donna is just gonna drop down. Um, and let's see here. She probably, she probably didn't see actually what happened. Though. Goodness, no. Yeah. Okay, so then I guess I. I wouldn't be able to do my plan because that would be a little meta gamey. Um, uh, you, I mean, you did hear, you did see part of the roof collapse. Okay. Um, then I guess what what Donna will do is basic assumption. Uh, she's gonna look at that rubble, uh, pull out Spin Doctor, rubble to bubble, and hopefully it just 
either pops or just uh, is a lot lighter to move to the side. Um, yeah, the uh, the rubble the rubble begins floating with the uh, with the weight of a bubble. Okay, so hopefully uh, on your turn, if you wanted to try and get out of there, you you should be able to. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> and then I uh, Donna from behind. Jack, you're in here. Yeah, he's over there. I, I I point. I don't even know if you could see me, so I just say that and point in this direction. Uh, I guess I guess Donna will then just like move over to at least uh, investigate. That's probably the entirety of her movements. Mm-hmm. Uh, similarly, you see you see Ozzy just as um, uh, just as Jack described. He's not making any noise, presumably because this is a stealth tactic. Okay. Uh. Donna just put some bubble gum in her mouth and uh, I'm going to set up a secret action as she's just chewing it. All right. Isadora. Uh, Isadora, now fully pissed off, is going to sprint past this uh, this rubble. That's her secondary. Uh, or let's, let's do this a little smarter and get her to, like, here. And uh, she's going to pick up this hammer, set another secret action. Um, and uh, she's going to run and slam her back to, uh, using up all my actions, slam her back to this wall, and then just, like, make a nod at Donna while holding the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. Fantastic. Uh, Ozzy, Ozzy maintains position. Ooh. Joshua. Suspicious. Okay, uh... I have uh, I have set up a secret action which I have PM'd to Jay. Yes. Um, so uh, I think now uh, Neon Rose is going to can just about enter the building. So suddenly, if this was dark before, it oh, is now yeah. flooded with light. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> um, and. Uh, yeah, Josh <laughs> is just gonna try to drive <laughs> through the corner. Oh my god, fantastic. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Josh, you plow through the side of this building. Um, it is, uh, it is a ramshackle building, so it does, it puts up limited resistance. You, you plow through the wall. I'm gonna say your bulldozer definitely gets fucking stuck. But <laughs> you plow through the wall. Wall caves in. Ozzy stands there unflinching. And you see in the light of, of, uh, of fucking Neon Rose. That's just his leather jacket on a post. Oh. <laughs> oh. Son of a bitch, that's my shtick. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you gotta, gotta dirty it up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Jack. Uh, Jack's like, wait, if he's not there, then where is he? Jack uh, turns his head around and looks behind him. You you look behind him. You don't see anything. Oh, whew, okay. Uh, he he uh, turns back and just kind of keeps an eye out in front of him. And... Uh, <laughs> He um, makes his way a bit for, uh, further up, though, taking steps over here, just kind of crouching near Donna and, and kind of looking absentmindedly around, and then uses the rest of his actions to set for Hype Man. All right. This shit Donna. is crazy. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, Donna just comes around the corner uh, and looks at Isadora. Hey, um, where did you last see him? Uh, she, she points to the exact spot. Okay. Where could he have gone from there? Hmm. Did, think he just went back in the trash? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> huh. Um, okay. I guess what Donna will, will do do is um boy all right this is a really bad idea isadora do you have my back <laughs> yeah i'm gonna yeah why not out. let's do it because <laughs> he seems to be interested in taking this out one-on-one -on -one. uh so one two uh three 
And, uh... Yeah, I'll just keep on moving, because I'm sure he'll pop out of that dirty mattress of a piss stain. I'm like, bah <laughs> All right, you, you walk, you walk, you see around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> he he shoots you a cheeky smile and uh, and salutes with two fingers. Uh, I guess, I guess I'll just go for good old punch. All right, yeah, uh, go for punch. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Uh, player roll. My modifier is a five because uh, I'm doing MMA stuff. One or a two. Uh, we'll call it a two. Okay. You get your B. All right. All right. So, you uh, you throw your punch at Ozzy Goodridge, and you trigger his villainous action. I figured. When legends rise. <laughs> <laughs> him uh, him and uh, him and his stand do the pose as uh, as illustrated. <laughs> oh. And I love these so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Glad you like them. All right, and I am going to I'm going to roll his. Opposed roll. Oh boy. Uh oh. All right. So you uh, you go in uh, you go in to punch him. Ozzy Ozzy skillfully, surprisingly skillfully pushes your bl pushes your blow aside with uh, with his fist, and you don't even see that uh, his stand passes directly through him and punches you in the stomach. You take six damage. Wow. Oh. All right. I'm going to I'm going to try to help reduce that a bit with hype man. Um Oh, oh. no, that just that doesn't reduce. That makes it clash. Oh no. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, get my six hit points uh, back and see how I'm going to explode. Right, so, I don't know if we Explain talked about clashing. clashing yeah, Christian. yeah, that was the one thing I didn't mention like a dumbass. Uh you um when you clash when when two opposed rolls go equal, uh you re-roll and then double damage is dealt on the next resulting, like, damage deal. Yeah. And it can double again. It can keep doubling. So, uh, Jack is just going to yell, Donna, watch out! That <laughs> thing's like, that's like a shadow boxing or whatever the hell! You gotta be careful, man! That's, that's like a, that stand looks like it's, it could be a rival in the ring or something! <laughs> what? I don't fucking know! Just dodge! <laughs> Oh boy. You have to dodge! Alright, so roll again. Uh -huh. Okay. Sorry, I had to get up right that second. I hope no one addressed me. Uh sure did, but I just no. need to roll again, so. Okay, rolled better, so hopefully they roll worse. Alright, um, and I'll re-roll the hype man support. Uh so that's still technically well. a part of the roll. Alright, so. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's the same as last time, shit. <laughs> All right, it is uh, it is the same as last time. Uh, but so God, how does how's Clash? So you beat him this time. Oh, okay. <laughs> you you take you take no damage as uh, as you fucking this stand this stand punches you in the stomach, but but uh, do you see, unbeknownst to you, Spin Doctor's hand came out of your stomach and blocked the blow. Oh my god, you actually did something. <laughs> Ozzy, uh, Ozzy gives a great big smile at that. Now that's the true power of a stand, working in unison subconsciously. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> boy. Jesus Christ, that was terrifying. <laughs> uh, Jack. Re reprising the hype, but yeah, yeah, that that's what they call shadow boxing, right? I don't really know, but anyways, go in. You two on two, you can do it, Donna. Great. <laughs> uh, is it Isadora's go? It is Isadora's go. She's gonna sprint over here and uh, hearing like the "You got my back." She's going to pick up the hammer and overarm it between the stand user and the stand, just past and stick it into the wall as her secondary, not doing shit, and then pick up her spear and throw it very for real at this man. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that would be probably a precision. Uh, yes, it would. Fantastic. Okay. I'm completely mediocre at this. Oh, wait. Oh, 
That ain't right. That should be a, uh, why, why is it at zero? Because you added a plus. Uh, you just do numbers. Yeah, you added oh, two okay, pluses. Okay. Uh, hold on. So it's six. So it, it's nine. It's there we go. Nine. Mm, oh, mm, what are you doing, man? I don't know. Don't don't put any pluses, just the number. Okay. <laughs> Two, three, six, three. Boom. There you go. Okay. Fourteen. All right. Fourteen. That works. Oh, so, shit. so you uh, you hurl your spear directly at Ozzy. Uh, his stand uh, his stand catches it. Uh, the uh, the spearhead mostly slashing past his neck. It does uh, it does a portion of damage to him. You you don't want to hold that. You want to drop that right now. <laughs> I'll take your advice. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ozzy uh, Ozzy spins around and points his two fingers at you, and you see his stand get ready to huck your spear back at you like a javelin. Extremely legit. <laughs> Alright. So, he is going to roll a thing. What are you going to do about it? Uh, try to just move out of the way. Just bronze. Okay. This is probably going to hurt a lot. Uh, probably. So, so that would be... Okay. Uh-oh. I didn't GM roll. Well, don't worry about that. That's that's fine. That's completely okay. Oh sh! No, I don't want to die. <laughs> oh no. Oh oh, holy shit! Okay. Again, again, <laughs> again. Lovely. I mean, his roll was pretty good. He might roll lower this time. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I'll use my last type action till my turn again to help with this one. Uh. Hey, it's not Hi. bad. Oh, God bless you. Oh. So he, he was throwing a javelin? Ah, uh, yeah, he was throwing the spear back at Isadora. Isadora, like, Isadora ducks down, gets behind here, and actually reaches up, and she grabs it, and with an almost unusual amount of strength, like, grips the side of the spear and swings it down back to her side. Except... It's weird. You can't tell if she's strong or the spear seemed to just halt in the air when she touched it. <laughs> yeah, um... So oh shit, those there. reflexes! Man, you really are a mercenary! <laughs> I wish I was this quick, actually. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Ozzy, Ozzy looks, assesses this situation. And, uh, and you see, uh, you see his stand. Go to this wall, raise its left hand, and quickly slash at the wall. The wall almost completely melts away. And, uh, oh. and Ozzy, uh, and Ozzy leaps, uh, leaps through the wall while throwing out a quick, That's why I'm not hitting you with it! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shit. <laughs> Joshua! He, he like pulls the clutch a few times. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> stuck. <laughs> Fucking disappointed if you can't knock down a bit <laughs> Um, yeah. So he hops down out of the bulldozer. Where is he? What's going on? Uh, Jack Jack's... just kind of points directly. He he went out. He he cut the wall into like like liquid and shit. Kind of like outside. Is it kind of like outside? Uh, not really. Hmm. Okay. He okay. he cut through that wall like like fake butter. <laughs> That's more like it. Okay. Um how what are the mechanics around like supporting other people's actions in this game if any? Um that would be uh, that would be hype man stuff. If you're looking for something to do that uh, that will be that will be helpful, you could try monologuing. Hmm. Okay, what are the mechanics around monologuing? Uh, monologuing is you monologue about uh, about the nature of the enemy stand, and if you're right, it lowers his bizarre field, which he still has up quite heartily, I might throw yeah. out there. Oh, shit, yeah. Okay. It takes the form of, like, yes or no questions um, that you kind of put into the end of the monologue. Okay. 
I will not try to come up with one on the spot, but I will think of that for my next turn. I'm going to modify my secret. I'm going to discard my previous secret action, replace it with a similar but updated one. And, um, geez. Uh, okay, I guess we're just going to move a little closer to the action. That'll be my turn. All right. Jack. All right. Uh, Jack's going to try to move around a bit. Uh, he's moving, and then he sees the hammer on the table. So he kind of goes up, and he grabs the hammer off the table and just kind of puts that in his coat jacket. Sure. Then... Both, both of the hammers have been moved to other places. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, you see another hammer on the ground in front of you. Oh, shit. He takes that one, too, um, <laughs> as he gets up. And then, if I'm correct, I have two more spaces of movement. Um... I'm not going to run directly at him. I'm just going to throw the other hammer I just picked up at him and just start behind over here to the wall. All right. Uh, you're going to you're gonna throw the other hammer at him? I assume yes. that's your uh, that's your secondary action. Yes. Yes. Just... All right. So so no opposed roll. So he, he is just going to slap that out of the way then. <laughs> his stand uh, his stand shows up. His stand pops out, swings its left hand at the uh, at the at the hammer, and it is practically erased. Hmm. All right. Jack, seeing that again, takes note. I can't monologue since I don't have it as an action right now, but I'll keep that in mind. All right, Donna. Hmm. Okay. Donna. Uh, let's see here. The only thing I have in mind, I don't think it would work. Um, my, my hope is to do left to heft, where it would take more exertion to actually use his left hand, but I don't know if that would work, or if you'd let uh, that slide. That feels, that feels like a, a bit of a reach. I'm on the fence, so let's roll brains versus to see if it would work. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think no good. <laughs> All right, uh, it won't work. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh boy. Yeah, so Donna is just gonna back off then, um, and I guess I'll monologue. Okay, so clearly his stand's ability only comes from the left hand, from what I can tell. And based on the fact he's not using it on us, maybe it causes explosions? Detonations of some sort? It seems to be what's happening. All right, that is, uh, that's your guest, explosion-based powers? It, well, I guess um, more what I'm, um, I think what I would more like is, is his power only functional from the left hand? All right, that's your stance? Then yes. Okay. Yeah, nice. you can you can tell because you saw him when he was attacking anything that wasn't an inanimate object, both him and his stand were using his right hand. Okay. Bizarre field successfully lowered. Cool. Uh, and then I'm going to set up another secret action. Uh, Christian, you'll you'll see it. Okay. All right, Isadora. Uh, Isadora is going to sprint over here and then like almost pull out like a like a zip line almost, attach it on and just whoop, up to the roof. <laughs> All right. That's probably her whole move. She's going to get like over here functionally on the roof layer. All right, you uh, you zip line up to the roof. Secret action. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you just you successfully dismantled a different one of my secret actions by destroying the hammer. <laughs> so she is now up to three. Oh. I was really proud of that one. Uh, it's at, oh, if, any, sorry. If, if at any point anyone assumed that the hammer was part of a plan, the secret action would trigger. But no one at any point. Processing it as a threat. <laughs> oh, I assumed that. I just did it silently. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ozzy's turn. Ozzy steps back through the hole that he created the round prior. <laughs> that activates my secret action. Okay. Um. Oh well, maybe not. Damn. Oh. No, because I, I specifically said makes a hole. <laughs> Yeah, not to not today. That doesn't exist at nope. all. Would have been nice too, because Jack. Uh, 
Oh, oh shit, I was hoping I'd be bait. <laughs> you are. Yeah, Ozzy, uh, Ozzy walks over to you, adjusts his sunglasses. Yeah, it uh, seems like you are bait, buddy. <laughs> he uh, he kind of he kind of leans in. So, why aren't you using your stand? Uh, the same reason you're not using your your stand, like your left your left hand. He backs against the wall a bit more. I'm doing that for your sake, buddy. He uh, he adjusts again. Is it really that powerful? I I don't really know about about like dick waving competitions, man. But but it, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just don't want to die. <laughs> well, you better pop your stand out, buddy. His stand is going to begin wailing on you. Oh, oh uh, fuck. <laughs> uh, Jack is gonna um move and uh. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna... Yeah, let me... Let me, uh... Just try to... Well, right now, he's just gonna try to jump and, like, slide down on this... This soaked-up bed and just try to pull it up to block some of the blows. Which... It's a mattress, so... Hey, it might do something. I uh, think it, Yeah, it may, in fact, do something. <laughs> I think a mattress is probably only, like, a plus one to his thing. Most likely. Okay, then that's 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 that. Oh, hey, well, good mattress. Bad. All good right, mattress. You uh, you reach for the mattress. His stand's left hand swiftly slices slices past the air that you were reaching towards. Mm. Using its other hand, it beats the shit out of you for eight damage. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh god. <laughs> okay. He's going to continue wailing on you. Oof. Now what's your plan? Uh, I think it's, um, Jay's turn next, but, uh... Oh, wait, or is he doing... He's doing more, so, like, he's oh, not... Oh, he's finished. doing more, bud. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. Good. Um... <clears throat> Jack, uh... Kind of, um... Okay, so Jack is just gonna essentially attempt to... If only I could be a secret action, but no. So Jack is going to uh, kind of just keep holding down on the on the mattress, and he kind of reaches in his jacket and pulls out the hammer and basically just kind of like chucks it at his face uh, while also trying to block himself with the mattress. Okay, so it's so... really kind of pathetic toss. <laughs> so a pathetic toss of a hammer while trying to cower behind a mattress. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's worth another plus one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, not doing too bad with the cowardice. Oh, you, uh... wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I'm if I'm being a coward, I get a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I get a I get a plus two trait bonus for being a coward and, and fleeing. All right. Yeah, you gain you gain a plus two trait bonus for uh, for your cowardice. So that brings you mm. up to twelve. Yeah. All right, so you you limply toss the hammer at Ozzy's <laughs> face. He swiftly swipes his left hand in front of him. The hammer is erased. His stand beats the shit out of you. You take okay. four damage. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Joshua. Okay. I'm going to... Oh, fuck. I should have typed this up ahead of time. I'm I'm setting a secret action, and then I'm gonna. Oh, good good UI roll twenty. Okay, uh, I'm setting a secret action, and then I'm gonna. Let's see one. Uh, what what's what's the deal with diagonals in this? Are they always five or is it alternating or? Uh, I don't give a shit. Okay, I'm just gonna sidle on up here, see what's going on, send my stand in a little ways. Um, and, uh, <laughs> I, Josh sees, like, oh, jeez, he's getting fucking wailed on. <laughs> um, it's honestly pathetic. He, Jack is trying to crawl away while the stand grabs yeah, him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he sees, he sees Jack trying to crawl away. Um, Josh is going to use Neon Rose's power to create... Uh, an illusion that only Jack can perceive and mm. 
the details of that will factor into my secret action that I am typing up now. Okay. Um, but all you need to know for the immediate term is, Jack, you hear you hear a weird, like, indistinct noise from somewhere outside this door. Mm hmm. I bet that fills you with pleasant thoughts. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. A weird, indistinct noise from that door. Yes, from somewhere beyond it. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Jack! All right, Jack, uh... First off, as the sand keeps punching down, oh, that stinks! He, um... He, um... Crawls back and attempts to flee. Uh... He reaches this door, the place he would naturally flee from, and he feels a menace. A menace <laughs> come from it. A strange sound. He, uh... He reaches down <laughs> and slowly peels open the door. Okay, that activates my secret action. <laughs> it also activates mine, but Aaron, you do, do yours first oh, also, because they will Okay, be as a note, I, I left the secret action as soon as I left the mattress. <laughs> okay. Um, Everyone in oh, their are, we, are, we using, yeah. are we using these colored shits to indicate how many secret yeah, actions yeah, yeah. we yes. have? Okay. Yes, we do. Um, okay, so Jack, when you go, you, you're like, you open the door and only a short distance outside, you can perceive a second, like, the other bulldozer fucking coming at full steam towards the door, like, in a direct line that will take it into, uh, into you if you don't get out of the way, and into Ozzy beyond you. Okay. He closes the door and just makes a leap across the rubble and, and lands on the ground there. I just okay. kind of, uh, I think that's as far as he can go with everything I did. So yeah, he's kind of there. Okay. The, uh, I assume more or less immediately, as far as Jack can see, the bulldozer plows through the wall towards mm -hmm. Ozzy. No one else can perceive this. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Hysterically also to Jack, that does trigger my secret action that if, um... If Jack should basically get far enough away from uh, from Ozzy, uh, w that he wouldn't be caught in the blast wave, uh, Isidore would look sort of like slow roll a grenade over here that would detonate. So, and this isn't to like hurt Ozzy. This was to tr try to create a barrier initially. So from Jack's perspective, <laughs> the bulldozer rolls through and a wave of rubble falls behind it, <laughs> making the illusion very convincing. <laughs> All right, so a very fake bulldozer plows through and some very real rubble falls down. <laughs> Jack, do you have anything to say? About this. Yeah, uh, Jack dodging down out of the way uh, turns over and he's like, uh, "Dude, watch out! It's a bulldozer!" <laughs> <laughs> um, With J real terror in his lip, uh, like his voice. <laughs> uh, um, over here, quietly, Donna, you hear, you can hear JJ whisper, "Neon Rose, light up my life." <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, is this gonna come into play immediately, Aram? Do you think? I, I guess so. I mean, it's well, kind yeah, of out of, it. it's out of turn order, but it's if you'll, turn if order, allow but you me. know what? I'll allow it. It's your thing. So Ooh. suddenly, the very fake bulldozer turns into a very real bulldozer. Oh shit! <laughs> oh. Ozzy is caught significantly off <laughs> guard. <laughs> Oh my god. It's like he looked over to see what Jack was yelling about. It was nothing. Looked back, real bulldoze. <laughs> <laughs> What's he talking about? There's no what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, Ozzy's not going to be able to get to Jack very easily. <laughs> <laughs> and this bulldozer will threaten to run him over if he doesn't move. Donna! <laughs> uh, all right, so... What Donna is gonna do then, uh, she will one, two, three, because this is where the hole is, right? Uh, yeah, hole, hole is like right here, I think. All right. Uh, Donna's plan is to just 
be in the way as much as well no the boulders are gonna it's fucking real ass bulldozer hang on <laughs> <laughs> all right maybe that wouldn't be a good decision then Man, this is where I regret Spin Doctor's power. It is so hard to think <laughs> between turns of what you can do. Uh, okay. So, I... You know what I'll do? Shoot a shot. His foot is suddenly shot, <laughs> making it more difficult for him to get out of the way of his bulldozer. Shoot a shot. That's a stretch. Let's have a brains competition about it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that no, doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Well then. Uh, boy, sorry. I, uh, uh, I guess I'll just go for uh, the the simple thing then. Uh, I will just do uh, gum to gun, and when she uh, clicks the bubble gum, when it pops, shoots. <laughs> or is that too much of a stretch too? <laughs> no, that one's cool. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, all right. So, oh, that's my stand ability. Uh, so, let's see here. Uh, I assume precision. That's right. Okay. Uh, modifier none. Trait bonus none. Okay. Ooh. All right. All right. Uh, it'll be. This will be your. Your position versus that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait one second, because I'm still bad at everything. Yeah. And that that basically removes my uh, one of my secret actions because I was waiting for him to sneak up behind me and the fucker never did. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. You play high brain characters so you can put down a bunch and most of them won't go off. Mm. All right, you fire a bubblegum bullet. Uh, the, the popping of a bubble sounded like the popping of a gunshot. Ozzy is only human. He turns around and tries to dodge. The, the bubble gum grazing past his sunglasses, shattering half of the lens and scraping across his face. He quickly tosses them aside and pulls out a replacement pair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and he, and he yeah. takes some damage. You lucky duck. <laughs> All right, and then I guess I'll set up a, another secret action. <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll message this to, to Aram. All right. This is my first one. Oh, I'm oh, sorry that you haven't been getting Oh, yes. Yeah. But... All right, is get... it? Oh, <laughs> you're on the roof. Yeah, Zora's on the roof, but there's now a convenient hole for her to chuck shit through, which is exactly what she's going to do. She's going to run along the roof, reach into her pack, and uh, she's going to set a secret action. It's very important. This, all of these are dumb and bad. I love them. Uh, she she reaches into her pack, and uh, she pulls out a... Um, she pulls out a uh, like a smoke canister and duct tapes something to the side of it immediately. Uh, reaches down and then th uh, very slowly lobs it underhand through the hole, and smoke just starts to pour into the room. Uh, <laughs> completely, completely like non-fatal, non-damaging. Just, just a thick, uh, a thick curtain of smoke. All right. Well, Ozzy was going to consider taking on the bulldozer, but oh. now his visibility has been shot. His so options I, uh, are so limited. <laughs> can I, uh, I had a secret action set for this. Oh, oh boy. Really? Once his turn comes, the camera cuts away real quick. On the other side of the rubble, Jack is stumbling. Oh God, I got out. Oh, I'm really not made for this. Oh, but why does it sting so much? <laughs> he grabs at his wounds and he feels a wetness. Oh shit, am I bleeding? He pulls his hand back. He was bleeding, but that was not all. The stinging, that sensation. When alcohol gets in a wound, it causes a sting. He looks, the alcohol mixing with the blood dripping from his jacket, which is also, oh no, I, he reaches and looks inside of his jacket. The flask he had stuffed in there, a simple metal one, covered with something strong that he could drink down at a moment's notice. Something he never removed from his jacket, despite the circumstances. It was burst by the, when the stand of Ozzy punched down into the mattress. He looks back. He wasn't the only one who must have gotten soaked then. The mattress! The alcohol must have soaked into it as well, and soaked onto the stand. As he stands inside of that mist itself, both Jack and Ozzy 
are covered in the stench of alcohol. And Jack is the bigger coward than Ozzy. So, with that, all of the conditions are met to summon his stand. Uh-oh. Uh, Jack sweats a bit, menacing symbols. He uh, turns around and screams, Dude, watch out! Get out of there! Ozzy, Ozzy looking around frantically, doesn't know what to do. Bulldozer, smoke, and now an air of menace. There is the distinct sound of of slicing through metal as uh, as something viciously approaches tearing the bulldozer asunder from within is the <gasps> lust rider <laughs> Ozzy doesn't see it though <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh jack does see it and uh starts sweating it's it's that ghost again oh shit and, and he can't do anything about it though it's not his turn <laughs> can't do jack dick about it Ozzy, still trying to solve problems from the world that he does understand, tries to leave the bulldozer that suddenly stopped approaching. There's only one source of light, and it's in his way, and he recognizes that that's a stand. <laughs> sure oh, is. No. So, his stand is going to try and roundhouse punch it out of the way. Fire him. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> uh... It's it's very easy to see, but not necessarily easy to hit. I'll try to evade with spid. Yeah, evade <laughs> evade with your spud. Evade with spud. <laughs> Three D six pick two. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, all right. So. So it's exceedingly difficult to uh, to pin down Neon Rose. However, uh, Ozzy Stan barely clips it and launches it into a wall. It mostly is okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it leaves it leaves the tiniest Yamcha crater as you take one oh. point of damage. <laughs> oh my god! Still, even even with a glancing hit. Neon Rose is basically made of paper mache. <laughs> it, like, it like crumples into the wall and JJ's like, <laughs> like he gets all the air knocked out of oh him. Oh my god, are you okay? Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Ozzy, <coughs> Ozzy clearing his way out of the smoke. <laughs> all right. I think any sensible man wouldn't have been able to find a way out of that situation. Ugh. Let's call this... Let's call this a victory on your end, as the sounds of wrangling metal continue from the sound of the fucking bulldozers being torn up. I don't, I'm wordsing really poorly. Yep. <laughs> God, what is, what is that sound? Uh, is that a friend of yours? Friend of mine? No, it's just me out here. Then what the hell is that? Uh, Ozzy, Ozzy turns back to try and, uh, to try and look through the smoke, all that is, all that is piercing the, uh, the, uh, the thick, uh, the thick mist is the occasional spark from dragged blades across the concrete. What the fuck? Oh. Ozzy, Ozzy looks, friends, you know, I did directly ask for this, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> He ponders. All right, lesson's not over yet, I guess. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you have? Do you have a second one? <laughs> no, not mine, man. Not mine. Uh, uh, good. What is? What, what is? So it's just menacing, 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 like claw dragging towards us. Yeah, no. Oh, it's not its claws. It's its massive pauldrons that uh that reach that point out and reach the ground like long bladed sides. Um, the smoke was making it pretty difficult to clear, but uh, you hear coming from it <gasps> as uh, as the smoke is sucked into its uh, into the gaping mouth on its chest. Ugh. Okay, that's um. Uh, what the fuck? Um. <laughs> I hey, call it back, man. Uh, I can't. Um, he. What the? Uh, <laughs> actually, it's still it's still JJ's turn, right? Yes. Yeah. Is, this, is yeah. this fucking yours, Jack? I don't know. 
Maybe. Maybe. Uh. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fine. It's mine. I don't know what it does. Uh, <laughs> Josh will thinking in the moment he's just going to try to create the illusion of a wall here for this thing. Uh, all right. You uh, you try to create the uh, the illusion the illusion of a wall. This is an independent thinking being, so I'll say that your stand power is able to affect it. So it sees a, it sees a wall in front of it, and undeterred, it begins slashing vaguely at the wall. So I think um, it's gonna figure that out pretty fast. If my stands and it moves on my turn, then I guess I should try to fight it to see who goes first. Um. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I haven't decided on that aspect yet, so that seems fair. So, I'll roll my bronze, and it can roll its speed, and we'll see who goes first on my turn. Sounds fair. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I... I mean, it might fail. Hey, Speed's, three ones. It's like speed E or D or something, right? It's speed is A. It slow? You go first. Oh, no, wait, is it? Is it? Is it speed A? Uh, you, no, it's speed D. Yeah, no, it's... it's It very well may. That's good. It's, yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, Jack, you're going okay. first. Okay, nice. Um, Jack uh, yells from around the corner as he kind of limps, a bit beaten up. Uh, just, just don't smell like alcohol, and you should be fine. Smell like alcohol. Yeah. Uh, suddenly, flashback uh, into a hallway of an alley, a hallway of an alley, an alleyway in the middle of, <laughs> of Jump City. <laughs> this thing. I was walking home one night. I was a little drunk, and I just got some cheer from from some guy, and uh, <laughs> yeah, <for someone. laughs> I took some like an idiot. And well, the reaction wasn't too good, but then this thing—it just appeared and started coming after me. I didn't tell why, but then I bumped into a homeless man on the street who was also drunk. He started—I I sweared at him while I was running, and he was looked confused, and and the thing just turned and attacked him while I was on his way to get me, but. But it ignored everyone else, so I think that's it. As long as you avoid smelling like alcohol, I think you'll be fine. Does it like does it like have to kill someone before it goes away? It just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh shit. Okay. Um Oh shit. <laughs> looks over at Ozzy. Yeah, you might want to bail. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I I did have I did have a couple before you guys showed up here. <laughs> uh, Jack uh, reaches in. Oh shit, I got it. I got it. He tries to take. Uh, basically, he's just gonna spend the rest of his turn. He takes off the jacket and his jacket and tries to throw it. And um, if the stuff is was broke in his jacket holder, then that means that it might have soaked through his shirt. He's just gonna try to. He'll kind of like rub against the rubble a bit, and um. I'm gonna berserk. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna burn a bizarre point. Luckily, I brought garlic just for this situation. And he starts crushing up some garlic to try to rub against his wounds. <laughs> oh, that stings! Hey, that's not a bad idea. Hey, uh, JJ turns Ozzy. Maybe you should go take a trash bath. Yeah, no, it's mostly gonna be on my breath. I don't want to eat garbage. Does anyone have a mint? Um, I, I produce gum. I always have gum on me. <laughs> How stingy Gum are you with chum. Your gun? Now he's your friend. Considering what's happening, <laughs> uh, she she so like she pulls it out and she's like, "I'm gonna need to be paid back." What for gum? You know, it's just like high school. I understand. <laughs> yeah, it's life or death. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I will. I forgot. Oh yeah. Two of the things. Um, one of them the. Uh, he'd have to get the stench off of his fists, essentially, from soaking onto the sand when it was punching the, uh, that. Mm -hmm. But, that, I mean, I'm sure you know that, but that, the other thing was, uh, it, it didn't get its turn, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Uh, sure didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Lost Rider quickly figures out that wall fake. Uh. It, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's tongue points in the direction of Ozzy. It's pauldrons extending, as if to try and fucking grab him. Ozzy looking away, asking for gum. Um, God. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Ozzy's dropped his bizarre field completely. 
just so I have some role that is shown. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, that feels fair, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that feels fair. <laughs> All right. He's a friend now. He's not bizarre. Yeah, he's a friend now. Um, okay. It's JoJo's buddy adventure. <laughs> so, uh, so his stand, his stand's gonna try and pull him out of the way, uh, using, uh, using his speed stat. Okay, where's the fucking, here it is. Right, stand power. What's, uh, what's Lust Rider's strength? Is it A? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Alright. So that's, that's that, and Lust Rider's A, you said? Uh-huh. Okay. I think I think he'll do fine. It'd have to get like what, three sixes. So what's I think? the uh just so that I'm understanding the system, what's the plus two there? Uh the plus two is a trait bonus. Okay. Okay, I was wondering if it was like a stat or something that I should have been adding to mine, but okay. <coughs> they clash. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fine. Again! Again <laughs> Oh, this is going great. <laughs> All right. Oh, then <laughs> that's a pretty good roll. It's average-ish. Yeah. All right, fucking just barely, uh, just barely. Ozzy, Ozzy stand pulls him, uh, pulls him out of the way as the uh, as it comically Scooby Doo misses. You know, like that <laughs> grab, that hand that tries to grab Fred. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's very funny until uh, until the motion cleaves part of this wall apart. <laughs> I also uh, the bulldozer continues probably. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like this thing's like on its last leg, but like it's still got a, it's still got an engine in it. <laughs> the uh, the bulldozer plows through. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> uh, all right. So I'm hoping there, there's like scrap metal around this thing right now right yeah can i do scrap to trap or trap um, i thought you were just gonna do scrap to crap i rub boo on him no so he no smell like alcohol scrap to trap you know what yeah i'll allow it or i should say traps because scrap to traps okay yeah, because that still take works seat. yeah so uh the spin doctor pops out oh god buddy i need you right now <laughs> uh, oh no i'm using a stand uh Spin Doctor pops out and assesses the situation and agrees it is fucked. You know what? That that appears on his little HUD. Fucked. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. It's like blinking. Uh, precision. Uh, yeah, precision. Okay. No modifier. No trait bonus. All right, that's really good. Um, let's see. Let's see. Trying to escape. All right, so the uh, the the scrap metal coming from the uh, coming from the bulldozer uh, starts to get snagged on the various bits of Lust Rider. It with one swift motion of its hand, it just completely annihilates the leftover bits. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Isadora, your What's... otherwise peaceful yeah. combat is interrupted. I have an idea. What? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to process what it, what's even happening. What what's your idea? What's going on? I found a thing that'll help. What what is it? You gotta do you gotta do me a favor first. What what's the favor? Kiss the last rider. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your stand sucks. <laughs> it wants to give it a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> She makes the exact face she has with her icon. <laughs> you so it, it should be it should be uh, noted that a farewell to Kings is not here physically. He's just kind of piercing your mind as he uh, as he drives, <laughs> coming over like a crappy radio. Okay, uh, but... guys, my stand wants me to kiss the whatever. <laughs> hey, you can feel that he's picking his nose. Just trust me, you have to be close for it to work anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Well, get in there, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Isadora looks over at her horrible stand, looks down at the thing. It's better be, better be worth it. You guys, you guys are honestly making me appreciate this thing a lot more. <laughs> oh. Isadora's going to, uh, going to hop down in front of the thing, 
and like sort of brace herself uh really low really low to this pile of boards and then is going to i guess dart in and try to give this thing a kiss <laughs> <laughs> Fucking damn it. <laughs> All right, roll uh, roll your bronze. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god. I get I get the plus five. I wish I had any trait bonus for this, but no. Oh god, Ooh. god bless. Excellent. You clash. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. Well oh, boy. Rip in. I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you. Clashing's happening a lot more often than I thought it would. Yeah, me too. Yeah. That's cr Wow, that's Oh crazy. no. <laughs> Alright. So you get within kissing and like I should know, you are gonna kiss the lust, right? Oh good. <laughs> you get within kissing range of it, and as you do so the teeth in its in its chest stomach point outwards and fucking launch into you as <laughs> as like extended almost like ribs honestly god <laughs> you are impaled numerous times take 5 damage okay. oh, that's not e that's barely even a wound in jojo <laughs> <laughs> And you have, and you have met, uh, and you have met the requirements Good. to receive some assistance from the world's worst stand. <laughs> you, uh, you, you wait patiently for something to happen. Anything, and, any help? Huh? Do, do you have anything for me? Yeah, I found a thing. What is it? Uh, it's like a piece of metal. She picks up the piece of metal. You um, you grab you grab the piece of metal from uh, from your stand that it, it doesn't. So it can't physically hand it to you. It just kind of oh. appears within your hand. It gives you the legendary sword Excalibur. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like I actually get Excalibur for as okay. It, as it plops in your hand, you come to the swift realization that you are not King Arthur. It promptly falls <laughs> out and impales the Lust Rider's butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. god. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> roll uh, roll Excalibur's power against the Lust so, Rider. I assume so, wait, Excalibur wait. has an A, right? <laughs> You're right. So does that mean that Farewell to Kings is King Arthur? <laughs> Let's not let's not think. Okay. Let's just no, not it just think. means he boosted it out of King Arthur's attic. <laughs> <laughs> and it still rolls like shit. That's my stand. That's the power of your stand. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't take any damage from it, but it is significantly inconvenient. <laughs> 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 the Lust Rider begins furiously screaming at its now impaled foot. Jack, you know, it, it doesn't hurt. Like, typically, oh. you know, when this thing gets hit, it gets it gets hurt. This must have been real trivial for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Excalibur's trivial for but Lust Rider! Am I also, uh, am I also frozen, though? <laughs> uh, I mean, no. Okay. Oh, you're, well. you're good. Okay. <laughs> Everyone, everyone now is seeing its foot quite impaled. Uh, Ozzy lets out the call. Yo, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's run. Let's run. Let's, let's, let's get Jesus. out of here. We need to run. <laughs> and Lust Rider is significantly stopped for the time <laughs> being. <laughs> Uh, Ozzy, as you pass under the hole that Isadora jumped in the first time, that's gonna trigger my secret action. <laughs> you, uh, you walk, you trigger an almost, like, an almost invisible, like, fishing line snare, and, uh, you're pelted in the face with a bunch of, uh, beers from the roof. This oh. is a great idea. This, this is, is the great worst idea possible it. solution. <laughs> Let me tell you, no, this is brilliant when it happened. So, yeah, no, you're whacked with, like, three beers from the roof. <laughs> oh good. All right, uh, Ozzy is drenched in beer. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> should have warned you about the trap. I should have warned you about the trap. You know what? Definitely earned it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> 
I you guys, past. I have a solution for this, actually. Huh. All right. Well, first of all, <laughs> situation is dealt with for now. You guys, at the very least, cheese it out of the goddamn oh, building. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like to imagine we run out the door and this place pretty much collapses behind us since oh, two yeah, entire sure. corners were <laughs> taken out by bulldozers uh, yeah. and multiple holes in walls were cut. It was being held up by the dreams of magical girls. <laughs> I was I was about to say as he ran out, Jack had already ran out the door and was rubbing himself furiously with garlic. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need some of that now. <laughs> uh, hold on, I've got an idea. Uh, spin doctor pops up. All right, I need you to make that smell of beer to turn to beef. <laughs> 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 like a like a slot machine reel, the letters the letters beef appear on Spin Doctor's face. He does an overjoyed dance. He's delighted by this concept. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh. So he just he just ranks of beef. <laughs> oh. uh, we'll take a bizarre point and never think of that again. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. I have three bizarre points. Oh my god, that's hysterical. Never think of that again. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Ozzy, Ozzy puts a stand away. Well, I was gonna do this slightly more casually, but hey, we have a safe house, and I feel like they would be pretty good. <laughs> Fine by okay. me. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, he. He, he, like a lapdog, follows behind the man who beat the shit out of him, like, a minute ago. This is, that's sad in its own way. I, we, somebody should talk to him. Maybe not me. Probably not me. <laughs> Which one of them? Uh, points at Jack, definitely. Mm, I can try. I'll try. Ah. <laughs> uh. God. Oh my god, that was what great. A, what a shit show, you know? I, I was <laughs> so happy my secret action went off. Yeah. I yeah. there to make everything worse. It's great. Right. Mm, beautiful. So Ozzy gives you a scenic, absolutely mad dash tour through the Lost Grid. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually you find a not-so-dilapidated building with a almost pristine basement. Oh. Oh. Turn order. Oh, yeah, I'll get I'll clear that out. Wow. This is actually pretty nice. I'm gonna be honest, this is a lot better than I was expecting. Yeah, you... Time right, turns so, on. Hold, hold on, hold okay, on there, okay. slugger. Okay, I know, sorry. You, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna question that. You no fling time. the door open, and immediately the door collides with this one. <laughs> oh, shit, sorry. Please, please, gotta, gotta move, gotta move. Ah, Son of a bitch, man! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He, he moves over and, and she just sees him hop into the tub, clothes and all, takes off the cat, uh, tap, uh, fuck, wow. Takes off the hat. Takes off the cat. I'm, in, I'm infected by Spin Doctor. Um, <laughs> uh, he takes off his hat, puts it in the tub, turns on the sink and just submer- the, uh, the tub and just submerges himself inside of the water. Sorry, like, no, I'm not gonna let that slide, actually. <laughs> Please, sorry, I, I don't, I don't, no, I am so, he, uh, he takes out his wallet and dumps, dumps a bunch of soggy money on the ground. I'm sorry. She, she looks down at your pathetic soggy money. <laughs> All right, fine. It's better be at least 20. She collects your soggy money. Oh my God. She, she steps out. Ah, oh, Ozzy. Gang, I suppose. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna have to join him in that bathtub. <laughs> yeah, sorry, they're being chased by a serial killer. So, uh... <laughs> the only way I could save them was to turn his smell into beef. <laughs> I he never... sits, sits down on this couch, puts his hands behind his head. So, uh, what's your name? <laughs> You can see, like, gears slowly turning in her head. Like, are you... Alright, sure. Name's Killjoy. Nice. nice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now, hold on. She, uh, she turns she turns around, turns back dramatically, does an extravagant pose. The fabulous Killjoy Daniels. 
Oh that's... shit. <laughs> Neat. No, who the fuck that's are great. You <laughs> well, okay, so Ozzy wanted us to help out with, I don't know, whatever you're doing here. I just, she looks back over the bathroom door. Said, said Apollo said cheeseburgers were his favorite, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, man. He likes cheeseburgers. I, don't, I wonder if he does anymore. <laughs> 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 Sorry, no, I, I'm, I'll stop being distracted. Looks back. Hi, I'm Isadora. Um, we got recruited by Apollo to deal with our uh, stand situation. Motions with her head back to the horrible thing in the corner. Ah. Uh, yeah. You're talking to the right person. She, uh, she puts her hands in her pocket. I get a look at it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's it's that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I like bags. They are filled with treasure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he likes bags. <laughs> she uh, she starts uh, she starts looking at him. Uh, she she grabs him uh, grabs him with one hand and forces his face towards her. Um, as uh, as she does that, uh, a farewell to kings. Appears to be sizzling almost. Ooh. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, I don't like that. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> I, I mean, it didn't hurt you at all. Here, yeah. let me uh, let me get that for you. He puts <laughs> farewell to kings in a headlock if he can. <laughs> oh yeah, it's easy. She uh, she raised an eyebrow and I say Chivalry's dead. <laughs> yeah, is. my name. My name's JJ, by the way. <laughs> JJ Ovaya. My uncle runs the Motley Crew. Maybe he's, he's kind of a big deal. She she raises an eyebrow. Ozzy was supposed to kill you. Ooh, huh. boy. Killjoy's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, <laughs> as you can see, he didn't, so... Yeah. Once he gets out of the beef tub, I'll be sure to ask him about that. <laughs> that laughs in character as the door bursts out fucking laughing. Hmm. Uh, Sounds like I, guess that's just, I guess it comes with the turf. You just get a lot of powerful enemies. Sure, man. <laughs> Seeing as that guy's gonna try and kill you, I think I'm gonna... Just, just a minute. Uh, Donna knocks the door. You boys doing all right? <laughs> This no. tub is far too small for two people. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, soap to soup. <laughs> <laughs> they now smell like tomato soup. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this that is better. <laughs> <laughs> this might have bought us a little more time before he kills you, JJ. So do your flirting and then bail. <laughs> Zadora looks over at Donna. You liked doing that, didn't you? <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> you sure you want to lose your stand? I mean, like, you're pretty good with it. I'm getting to the point where I might want to keep mine, but I'm definitely removing that ladies. I'm getting oh, rid yeah. of Lady Gaga's. <laughs> no question. <laughs> yeah. uh, Killjoy, Killjoy here just kind of waves you off. If Ozzy decided not to kill you, that's fine, I guess. Probably had a reason. If anything, I'm just going to talk to him about it. Now he was supposed to. He was supposed to gather three new recruits and then find a fourth guy. She, uh, she, she very aggressively points directly into your chest. You, and they were supposed to capture you, and uh, potentially kill you, twist your arm for information, things like that. Oh really? Uh, who's they? <laughs> oh Jesus! I mean, I, I mean they. Grow up, but I'm like intrigued <laughs> and they being your collective plus ozzy but unless you mean in reference to our little organization oh, yeah you guys yeah uh she her eyes like drift over to the uh to the bathroom fun times ah <laughs> uh, all right i mean this is ordinarily ozzy's shtick but i'll go for it <laughs> she uh, she she turns away looks to the wall and then uh, and then looks back with a sense of uh, with a sense of flair and drama Jump City. She's like our mother in many ways, nurturing us and granting us these extravagant powers. <laughs> However, it is time for us to give back to our beautiful mother. That is why we, the offspring, exist to defend the people of Jump City. Wait, 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 wait. are you guys a fucking cult? Because <laughs> that was some cult shit right there. Got a lot of personality. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, that's, again, Ozzy shtick, not mine. <laughs> now, I understand why you believe that. Bad elevator pitch. I, can you believe he's our people person? Now, uh, more, <laughs> more accurately, we're kind of like freelancers, superheroes, kind of. You see something bad happening on the street thanks to a stand user, bing, bang, boom, you deal with them, you collect a pretty penny from our supervisor. It's a sweet gig, unless you're me. <laughs> What's your job? What do you do? <sighs> a lot. A lot is what I do. Uh, how to summarize it best. All right. She, uh, she steps up. One of you, hit me with your stand. <laughs> now, everyone exchanges looks <laughs> and then rests on Donna, being the only one who physically can do that. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So, this might surprise you. Um, I personally am physically strong. My uh -huh. stand is not. Uh -huh. It's, it's um... well, no, well, hang on. Do you mean, like, hit you with your stand, like, punch you? Or do you mean, like, hit me I with mean, typically, that? I mean, typically, typically. like, hit me with that milkshake, bro, and just <laughs> me? The fuck are you talking? Now, typically, <laughs> typically saying hit me with your stand prompts the fastest response. Usually, the nearest dickhead with a punch stand has their punch stand punch me. We don't have punch stands. We don't what? have. <laughs> None Most of us. of us are lucky uh, to maybe, have a maybe. stand that we can even summon. <laughs> uh, maybe you don't. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my eyes. <laughs> you know what? Oh, this serves ears. as a perfectly fine example also. It, <laughs> it's making its blaring siren sound. <laughs> uh, her, eyes, her eyes look over to it. She glares. Cool kids. <laughs> oh uh, shit, oh, it's nice. so cool. Fuck. <laughs> cool kids, uh, cool kids pops out, holds out a hand, grabs um, grabs Neon Rose and it begins viciously sizzling, but all sounds of it just stop. All the oh. sounds, all the lights, all the everything. Spin Doctor's face just spells I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> does it uh does it hurt? Not one bit. Oh shit! Um, yeah, uh, she she lets can... she lets go uh, she lets go of uh, of neon rose. It unceremoniously hits the ground, and it's almost a little bit sad. It's like an ant that you didn't successfully oh, crush in no! the first go. <laughs> it's it's sad. Oh, is it is it like making uh, uh one of those heart machine noises? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I feel like I should feel bad, but I don't. <laughs> In your situation, I do not blame you. Yeah, that's that's my stand. Rather, that's the power of my stand. Cool kids. I just negate them. Oh. Whoa, like for good? Mmm She does a <laughs> she does a hand wave kind of. Yes not and like no. <laughs> okay, cause so, we were promised that these stands would yeah, be... Yeah, but, but, but I'm getting to it. <laughs> <laughs> a further demonstration. She, um, she puts, uh, she puts both of her hands on your shoulders, and, uh, and a Farewell to Kings, who's still in a headlock, begins viciously sizzling. Ah! <laughs> uh, eventually, after a, a, quite the period of, of screaming from him, he just blinks out. Huh. So here's the thing. Okay. As long as I'm holding on to you, he's gonna stay off. So in that way, yes, I can remove it forever. However, <laughs> she takes her hands off, and he, after a, after a brief pause, he winks back into existence. <laughs> <laughs> he looks very sad. Yeah, I was I was gonna ask, hey bud, how was non-existence? I hated it. I want to <laughs> die. What? <laughs> <laughs> It's like this every day. Listen, it's it's every day. <laughs> yeah, it's a real piece of work you have there. Yeah. <laughs> so, further further point, I can remove it, kind of. I can't take it out of you, but I can almost do that. See, cool kids isn't just limited to me. With a lot of uh, with a lot of serious time, effort, and power, I can imbue his abilities into a trinket or an object, something oh. that if you have it attached to you, it shuts it off. 
You don't see you don't see stands. You don't deal with your stand. It's all over. Okay. Now you might be wondering, why would this ability make your time so so valuable? Well, every time someone drags a jackass in here with the uh, this hot new stand power, I'm the one who has to deal with it. Oh. And I'm gonna see if you can put these two points together, bud. If they can't use their stand on me, what option do they have left? I mean, I'm an MMA fighter. <laughs> yes, they throw <laughs> punches, or they bite, or they stab, and all of these things happen to me a lot. Oh. I'm very appreciative that you guys aren't punching, biting, or stabbing me, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's regular. <laughs> Extremely regular. So, high and low of it, yeah, I can turn your stands off. It'll take a lot of effort on my time, and more importantly, or on my part, rather, and more importantly, it'll take a lot of my time, which I don't have a lot of, because we're in the midst of a very important war right now that directly involves, and then she flourishes and points at JJ, you. Oh, all right. What did I do? Drugs? <laughs> you were born. Well, fuck me then, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack, how's your back? <laughs> you good? You good, man? And man, I just don't know how to deal with any of this shit, man. I've woken up, girlfriend's dumped me, and now I'm getting killed. This is, sucks, Ozzy. Ozzy, this really sucks. <laughs> I understand you're in a very vulnerable place right now. <laughs> but just yeah. know that all of your friends are here for you. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to think they're friends and stuff, but like, I just met them, like, they're kind, but like, shit, I don't know anyone, man. All my friends left after everything went to hell, and, and that it sucks. <laughs> That's it. Just sucks. That, that does sound like it sucks. But... <laughs> I've been there, man. I've been at the absolute brink of things, feeling like I'm beyond hopeless. But things things turn up good eventually. You just keep your chin up, you keep powering through it, and eventually there's a light at the end of it. That's not you dying, also. <laughs> oh, <okay>. Shit. <laughs> nice save. <laughs> you think I'm like, you think I can even control this thing at some point? A stand is an extension of yourself. As soon as you start believing in yourself, you'll be able to bend it to your will. It's a partnership, after all. It existing solely to kill you makes absolutely no sense, quite frankly. Uh, well... I mean... He kind of looks at himself, sinking a bit, only his nose really, and, and upper head just poking out of the water a bit. This, this decreases the real estate they have even more, and, and it's just... <laughs> he pokes his head back up. Yeah, shit. This is... I mean, that's... That's true, I guess. I can get that. But if it's not trying to kill me, then it's gotta, like... What? I don't know. Hey, Why do don't... I get stuck with something like this? Hey, don't you... Don't you worry, man. Like, sometimes, sometimes you're dealt a bad hand. But, like, you power through it. And... And things... Think, things will... I... Uh, like, Killjoy can help you. Like, absolute, absolute worst case scenario. If you can't, if you can't make this thing not murder you, Killjoy will just shut it off for good. Yeah. Yeah. And if that's the solution, that's the solution. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you, man. Because I have faith in myself, and I have faith in you, and I know you can change, buddy. He steps out of the bathtub full of soup water. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll be out in a second. I got, I got to think. Yeah, watch behind your ears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he sits down. Thanks, Ozzy. No problem, man. <laughs> Ozzy, Ozzy steps out, smiling, happy as a clam. I just had the weirdest conversation of my life. <laughs> <laughs> How are you kids doing? <laughs> Um, sure. Okay. Uh, so, now what, I guess? I was about oh. to say, we'll do 
I'm I'm down for pretty much whatever if you're paying and giving me a place to stay. Oh yeah. Um, I I'm sorry. I got I got cut off before I got to do this part. Uh, he he uh he tries to reach into uh, into his leather jacket pocket, but he left it behind for a clever ruse before. Ah, oh, that's right. Uh, he reaches into his pants pocket that has been stained with bath water. He pulls out the world's saddest party popper. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls the ribbon on the back and it just tears. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, oh just, he just he just drops it and with his foot just pushes it underneath <laughs> the couch. Yeah, you you don't you don't have to. Congratulations! <laughs> you passed initiation. <laughs> Go, go us, I guess. <laughs> yeah, go you. You, um, if I was anybody else, you probably could have given me a, a pretty decent run for my money there. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my stand doesn't really play fair. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's just like, they take a look around the room. Fair, I don't think is something that any of us are used to, so I think it's fine. Yeah, it's more than fine. I. I am curious precisely what your stand does. Like, clearly it, it would have killed us if you uh, decided to target us, but... Ozzy, uh, Ozzy steps back, a big smile on his face. I thought you'd never ask. For you see, he flourishes, uh, so soupy water splashing around the room as he instantaneously dries himself off for a cool pose. Boom! The power of my stand, God smack, is unstoppable force. Huh? Oh. Okay. That's right. Any attacks made using Godsmack or even my own left hand are completely unstoppable, allowing us to slice through any material like a hot knife through butter. Huh. Donna looks around not... the room at all of our stands and goes, Yeah, that could have been useful. <laughs> hey, hey. His smile gets even bigger. Oh, it just. If you think that's cool, wait till you see what happens when we high five. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, quick question. I'm sure you get this a lot. Um, did you melt the city? Oh, did I melt? No, no, not me. No, didn't do that. Okay. Uh, as as awesome as Godsmack is, that is uh, that's not uh, that's not me. No. Sorry, it, that's uh, all I could think of when I saw how your stand worked versus the you know the egg. He uh, he kind of uh, he kind of readjusts his glasses a bit. No, that's actually something that I wanted to uh, wanted to bring up a bit. Uh, JJ mutters under his breath. Come on, the egg was always an egg. We just went over this. <laughs> Isadora is a traveler. She assumes the egg was melted. <laughs> yeah. Um. Once your buddy comes, out. oh hey, just yeah. in time. Yeah. Yeah. He moves over and kind of just solemnly sits down. Isadora, he smells terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you you can see Killjoy calculating how much it will cost to replace these couches, <laughs> and you can tell by the look on her face it's not pretty. Yeah, fair. <laughs> yeah, uh, you guys uh, should get comfortable. Uh, sure. JJ vaults over the back of the couch and sits down. Now, um. I don't mean to start off a relationship in any particular. Uh, uh, <laughs> his eyes focus onto uh, onto Neon Rose. You uh, you good there? He, uh, <laughs> JJ grabs it and like stuffs it behind the couch. Uh, no, cool. you know what? Just just fucking. Hold on. I, <laughs> listen, I got an idea for you. Couch to pouch. There's now a hole in the couch that you can just put him in. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's fucking great. <laughs> It'll fix itself. Right. Um, anyway, uh, you there, Joshua. I don't yeah. mean to start off our relationship on a bad note, but I feel like well, I, should be, I mean, uh, the... should be honest with you. Yeah, no, uh... She, uh, she let us in on the original plan. <laughs> You've got some kind of problem with my crew? <laughs> Yeah, not not just your crew, but um, well, the head of your crew. No, uh, the, what motley do to you? God damn it! Yeah, <laughs> he, uh, he scratches his face a little bit. Well, um, 
so... All right. A while back, say, something to the tune of three years ago, I think, uh, this portion of Jump City was pretty nice, I'd wager. It wasn't, like, the flashiest part of town, but, like, it could have it could have been a lot worse, you know? And, um, and I, for my part in this story, I was a little low, a little down on my luck. I needed some money for a thing. So I figured, hey, why not get it from the drug guys? Like, it's all dirty money anyway, and, like, stealing from, stealing from the mob, that sounds, that sounds like positive karma. Felt like a good call wasn't, as it turns out. Uh, as uh, as he's talking and gesticulating, uh, Godsmack is always mimicking his of movements. <laughs> the two are so in sync. <laughs> so, uh, long story short, I got I got found out pretty good, and uh, and uh, your uh, your uncle there, Motley, wasn't too wasn't too psyched about me. Uh, normally, I would assume he'd just pull a bullet, bullet in my brain and move on with his life. Um, but that's not what happened that night. He wanted to make a show of it, I guess. So he dragged me out to, uh, to just an unfamiliar lot in this portion of town. And when he was digging my shallow grave, something weird happened. There was a clang that resonated through my very soul when his shovel hit something in the earth. And I'd love to tell you more about that. But it's kind of overshadowed by what happened after that. He, uh, he pulls his glasses down. That's when Jump City started melting, as it were. That's not really fair, though. Kind of undersells the whole ordeal of it. It's more like, more like the concrete was turning to liquid, and yet turning to gas, and yet turning back to solid in that order over and over and over again, distorting everything around, and it's not like people were immune to that. I was pretty fortunate, as it turns out. In that event, I manifested a beautiful power that allowed me to save myself, but I saw it with my own two eyes. The power that was doing this belonged to Motley. You're saying this happened because he, like, hit a power line with his shovel or something? No. If it was something as simple as that, I'd be willing to let it slide. He, uh, he kind of looks around. How familiar are you guys with stands, as it were? Uh, not especially. Uh, pretty, pretty familiar, yeah. Um, you, uh, you hear about Seal Rock, the entire narration plays <laughs> in its entirety. Never heard that before. Five <laughs> minutes of cutscene, unskippable. <laughs> um, it actually sounds kind of similar. Like, apparently there was some weird electromagnetic pulse or something, and suddenly people started getting sand stands. Um, I, I don't know what they found in that hole, but it sounds like you got a similar problem in Jump City. Are there, like, was there a fight over the over the territory or anything? Did mercenary companies get called in? Like, was there a war, or was that just, was that just brushed over? I mean, there's been a lot of fights over territory in, uh, in Jump City. He, uh, he kind of adjusts his, uh, his glasses again. Some of us more familiar with that than others, I imagine. Well... That's how the game is played. No, um, after that, uh, it was pretty handily put on lock. Uh, hard to say by who, but no one's really allowed to go around there anymore. That's why this place is so heavily watched. We get an excuse, a free pass, because we're doing good work out here. It's not like the government can get directly involved in it by saying that people have magical ghosts or whatever. <laughs> uh, he, um, he kind of, uh, he kind of scratches his neck. Look, I don't want to say this about anybody's family. He, uh, he kind of hikes, he kind of hikes his leg up on, uh, on this, uh, on this table and Godsmack does the same. <laughs> but Motley Ovaya has to pay for what he did. It was out of his control, maybe. But the fact that he could do it again? 
No one should be allowed to have that much power. All right, so... It looks over at Killjoy. Why don't you just walk up to him, give him a hug, and someone plug him in the head? Looks over at JJ. No offense. Wow, what a fantastic idea. I'm, I'm sure I'm glad saying. I'm immune to machine gun fire. Uh, oh, cool. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ozzy, uh, Ozzy, like, kind of, kind of covers out of his mouth. Yeah, sorry, she's just like that. <laughs> Solid idea. <laughs> well, that's not really too far off from, uh, from what I was thinking. See, um, see if we were to get someone close to him, we'd be able to, uh, be able to learn a bit more about his movements or his, uh, his placements of men be able to distribute also the rampant drug problem that he's causing thank you <laughs> he, uh, he looks he looks back at JJ you're asking, like you've thought about that right you're asking kind of a lot there man I mean first of all let's say I believe you that that Motley's responsible for all the shit blowing up. He's he's the only family I got left. What am I supposed to do about that? Uh, Ozzy, uh, Ozzy frowns. We've all got family in trouble. It's just the way it is. Look, I'm I'm asking as a favor to you mostly. <laughs> Because in a in a blink in a blink God smack appears in front of you, left hand brandished. I really don't want to force it, man. It's gonna scoot. <laughs> I don't want to break up anybody's family more than I have to, at least. It's not like your whole bloodline deserves to get scratched out. I just want to make him answer for it. That's all. And you should too. You've seen what this place is like. Think about it. All the men, women, and children dead instantly. All right. I can do you this much. Especially if it's in exchange for getting rid of my Christmas lights. <laughs> <laughs> I can ask him whether what she said is true. And if it is, well, maybe then, yeah, we can, we can talk then, but I, uh, I can't, I can't do him dirty without at least hearing his side of the story first. Hey, uh, Ozzy, uh, Ozzy shrugs. That's fair enough. He puts, uh, he puts God smack away. I don't want you to turn chicken on this either, you know? If you just go squealing to him, that just puts a bigger target on your head. A target that I might add, I'm very graciously trying to remove. Yeah, yeah, I understand you're trying to do me a favor. I won't tell him that I heard it from you. I'm just gonna ask him if it happened. He, uh, he adjusts, he adjusts his glasses. I can't say I think your methods are very good. He's just gonna lie to your face. No one's going to admit to that. Doesn't matter if you're family or not. But if you get something out of him that tells you a yes or a no, then I guess that's all that matters. I don't know where you get off acting like you know what our family's like, but I'll take your advice, I suppose. <laughs> you guys don't have to... He, he looks around to his couch buddies. <laughs> you guys don't have to get swept up in that part, by the way. This is, uh... This is Ovaya family business. Right, sure. Isidore leans in. Well, if you want help, you know my price. 
What's the minimum wage? What's the minimum wage right now? <laughs> that price. Oh, <laughs> uh, buddy, ra raise those standards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, not not in Jump City. You don't. Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Ozzy readjusts his glasses again. <laughs> uh, on a on a less outwardly threatening ho note, uh, for the rest of you, this is just a job, really. If you wanna. If you want to rid the streets of some scum, do some good, earn some money, that's all there really is to it. Oh, and, uh, and of course, being able to scratch your problems away. I can get behind that. Um, I mean, as you've probably seen on some posters, I'm very much against the drug problem, so, yeah. Uh, Ozzy's face is kind of blank. Drug <laughs> posters... Madonna. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I don't <laughs> read comics. <laughs> she just kind of like nods. Good All try. Right. Good try. <laughs> good hustle. Uh. <laughs> How about you? No, just Jack. Uh, shit. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm still good. Hmm. <laughs> you sure about that? Um, yeah. I mean, well, there's no other way to kind of get rid of this stuff, you know? And, I mean, it sounds, it sounds important. Like, who else is going to do it? <laughs> like, literally anyone else. Like, there's, there's a lot of crazy mm. people that stands running around now. Like, you don't have I, to I think that's, that's, that's the problem, right? Yeah. I mean, honestly, can you say that Jack's going to be in any more danger from someone else than he is from himself? Yeah, that uh, that's definitely. <laughs> so earlier, I gave you the I gave you the pep talk like stand users seek out other stand users, etc. With your stand, I think your situation might be extra special. So, however you want to play it, I'll count on you. I didn't realize your circumstances, and I'm actually sorry about that. You don't have a stand. You have some vengeful ghost chasing you. Look at this. She pulls up like she pulls up her shirt and shows just like all the places she's been impaled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah kind of, kind of like that, I guess. Yep. No. I, like, I, I understand why you're so afraid. I think there's... <laughs> like, look at my stand. This is a joke. <laughs> she motions over. But generally, jokes don't hurt people. I mean, in my case, he does. But generally, like, mm. no. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and so... So I think, you know, it's just... Seems... I guess the pitch won me over. Hmm. Hey, all right. <laughs> okay, if you're serious about it, she definitely like relaxes in the in the couch a bit. She's still watching you. She, I, mm -hmm. I don't know if she 100 percent buys it. Mm -hmm. Oh, um. Also, if you're feeling uncomfortable about your situation, uh, the uh, the the uh, the the uh, the the shackle. Yeah, the shackle in the bathroom. The what? That's... <laughs> yeah, there's um. I mean, if you get a dangerous stand user, you gotta dump them somewhere, so... Killjoy imbued that shackle there with the hearty portion- yeah. What <laughs> <laughs> is facing the toilet, you weird. <laughs> she just sits down. We had to put it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, God forbid it come even close to the, uh, what is, what is that? Air hockey? She looks over <laughs> at what's clearly an, uh, a ping pong table. Yeah, no, God forbid it takes up space from the air hockey table. Yeah, so quick question. <laughs> you have another restroom, I assume, yeah? <laughs> that Are you is a telling me? silence. <laughs> I mean, no one's gonna stop you for taking a dump in the Blast Grid. <laughs> What is what is with the iron lung too? That's her generator. Oh, okay, that's fair. Hey, hey man, don't don't give Ozzy shit. It makes sense. What if they gotta take a dump? <laughs> that's like that's like villain escape plan number one. Oh, I gotta take a shit. Grab the keys. And then <laughs> I mean, okay, I guess you're right. I just I guess there's no good answer, but I just my immediate response is that was bad. 
Mm, yeah. <laughs> That'd make an excellent new catchphrase for Jump City. Jump City, there's no good answer. Zenora <laughs> 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 relaxes further. It's weird. For the first time in, like, uh, like, since you've met her almost, she does seem to, like, she's smiling more, she's cracking jokes, she's definitely relaxing and unwinding, and this is told through body language, as she is now nearly horizontal, with her legs sticking straight out. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, so do you have a job? Any little side thing you want us to take care of while JJ chats with his boss? As of right now, your side gig is to be vigilant. And if you find, uh, if you find any rabble rousers, just dump them off here or somewhere else. We've got other locations and slightly more convenient spots. I'll tell you about those once I'm sure that we're all on board, of course. You have anything out by Buffalo Wild Wongs? God, I wish. <laughs> Not too late. That to place start. is the best, right? It's very All good. Right, well, you guys know where we're meeting after I talk to my uh, my uncle, right? Buffalo Wild Wongs. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Donna gets up and stretches. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm fucking tired. Flipping yeah. tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta yep. get back anyway. Even you know, without all this shit happening, he'd probably roast my ass for how long I took to get back from stuff. <laughs> it's like middle of the night at this point. I don't think I'm gonna get back before daytime. Hell, oh, crash on the couch. He stops. Yeah, you know what? Fine, I'm gonna do that. He just kind of plops on the couch just still on just still kind of leaning against this side okay hey hey what do you want <laughs> what do you want he doesn't say anything he's trying to be sneaky okay he he, he uh he kind of <laughs> jack reaches under the uh the couch cushion and tries to find some lint slash potato chip <laughs> Oh, it's very easy. You find you find one half a prongle. He looks at Hey. Hey little fish boy. He kinda of waves the prongle and drops it in his face. I'm not a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Scrambles away. Isadora's already asleep, by the way. <laughs> Man, that thing's weird. <laughs> Alright, yeah, feel free to feel free to hang tight and uh Killjoy uh, Killjoy steps up. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Stepping in real quick. We just... Is this seriously the plan? We're just gonna let him walk away? Yeah! Hey, I know we've got the whole Romeo and Juliet in <laughs> um, Just, uh, you know, here's my, uh, here's my non-business number if you ever wanna... wanna hang out. <laughs> Killjoy's reaching for her gun. <laughs> uh, Ozzy, uh, Ozzy steps, uh, steps, steps up to her. Yeah, no, I'm sure you guys are really perfect star-crossed lovers. Yeah, please leave the vicinity now. <laughs> now Lover to loser. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> Nothing happens, you cruel man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, you guys fuck off. Uh, Jack and Isadora have to deal with the muffled sounds of argument between Killjoy and Jack Ozzy. Jack is also already asleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You guys, you guys zonk right out. Yeah. The kids are sleeping and the parents are fighting. <laughs> oh, oh. No. Hmm. Reminds Terrible. me of home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheer up. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so. Joshua, yeah. As um, yeah. as you're as you're making your way home, your uh, your phone uh, your phone buzzes uh, <laughs> buzzes. You receive a message from Toto saying, "Hey JJ, Molly's gonna flay you." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Story of my fucking life, right? <laughs> you should probably go talk to him. He texts back. Uh, he texts back this. 
<laughs> she uh she texts in return <laughs> he texts back in return <laughs> you do this for 40 minutes and yeah. don't talk to Mark. <laughs> we play out this emotional roller coaster <laughs> So, do you want to speak to Miley tonight? <laughs> I mean, I guess I, he has to at least go back and be like, hey, I dropped off the, the thing. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> but we, so uh, up to you, because you know what, what you have in store. Do we want to do J JJ talking to Motley as like the last thing of this session or the first thing of the next session? Um, we can do it. We can do it last thing here. Okay. Oh. All right. So I got to put on a track. Let's see. You know, let's just put on a great place to visit. <laughs> so you, uh, you head back, uh, you head back home and by home, you mean Motley's home. Yep. <laughs> uh, it's actually pretty nice. You're not quite sure what pretend business he runs to cover up the fact that he's a drug dealer, but hey, it clearly works if he's allowed to have a beautiful state house. Yeah, I, I imagine he runs quite a few uh, fronts <laughs> that let him actually show wealth. Mm -hmm. Is this is this just like a normal ass house or an apartment, or is this like oh, the it's, a, it's, of... it's a normal ass house. Okay, yeah. Uh, knock on the door. You uh, you hear uh, you hear Motley call you. Come in. I'm just dealing with something. Oh well. Uh -huh. All right. All Ooh. right. Coming in, Uncle. What you got? <laughs> you uh, you come in. Uh, you come in and see. Uh, you see this guy uh, trying to have a word with Motley. He's n entirely disinterested, likely because of the late hour. You've seen this Maybe guy float. Hovers by the door. You've seen this guy float around before. You're pretty sure his name is Droll? You're pretty sure he's an assassin? You don't know much else beyond that. He's not very personable. <laughs> Out of character. Ah, looking forward to fighting you in a few sessions. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm I'm just I'm just telling you, it'll work. It won't work. I'll get out. <sighs> A droll starts to step out. Uh, he gets a and he gets a quick look at your face, JJ. Uh, I feel like you've been busted up a little bit, you know, by yeah, Paul not too bad, but a little bit here and there. Um, something that's definitely happened is you did punch yourself in the eye in the dream dimension. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that, if nothing else, is showing. Yeah, he, uh, he kind of stops, looks at you. Hold on. Uh, very, uh, very swiftly, uh, you find three needles in the side of your face. Hey, what are you doing? Adam, what, what the fuck, troll? <laughs> you gonna Suddenly, be a fucking drama queen again? Sh 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 I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> uh, suddenly, two more needles are in the side of your face. You feel significant relief from your swelling. He swiftly yanks them out. Another service done. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. You should see the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Your other eye seems fine. <laughs> he would say that, but Droll's not that clever. <laughs> he just he just scoots away. Uh, you see, uh, you see, Motley was definitely reaching for his gun at that stunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, weren't you gonna talk to him about the unprovoked acupuncture? Uh, yes. Yes, I was. Didn't get around to it. Uh, yeah, I did that, uh, I did that job for you. Toto, uh, gave me a thing to drop off. Fantastic, and I assume there wasn't any problem? Mm, not about that. There was some... 
there was some bullshit going down at the pet shop while I was there, but yeah, oh, really at the pet shop, is that right? Yeah, someone hmm. was uh, going a little, uh, a little crazy. And you weren't involved, no? I mean, I saw that stuff was happening, but uh, I mean, didn't interfere with uh, you know the actual job. I think Not... they, uh, I think the guy got just knocked out or something. That was probably wise. So many weird people walking the streets these days, Joshua. Yeah. It's almost like Jump City is becoming a bad place to live. <laughs> what a great place to visit. What a great place to visit. <laughs> well, what else is new? <laughs> Still have your wit. Yeah. He, uh, he kind of leans on his desk, being trying to be casual. This is uh, this is his space. He's pretty comfortable here. Uh, your eyes, your eyes are drifted towards his light up rainbow glowy glow gamer keyboard. Mm -hmm. Previously a thing that didn't bother you. These days, now a thing that bothers <laughs> you. <laughs> 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 yeah, he he sees it and kind of winces a little. Uh, yeah. Um. Toto said maybe there was something else you wanted to talk to me about. Yes, there was. Have a have a seat, Joshua. Thank you. He uh, he kind of he kind of looks looks away uh, a little bit somberly, a little bit wistful. Hmm. You know, your father had many good things to say about you. Every day it was always just. It was just, um, it was just Motley. Hear about this great thing that Joshua did. Motley, this is great. Motley, he's got so much potential, and I, I believe him. And I know that you can do so much more. And I know you're not trying to. Uh, he, he leans in, real serious. Stop bringing girls back here. It ruins everything fucking always. Stop it. <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. I mean, I uh, I feel like I just kind of got you know unlucky this last time. But, uh, <laughs> is, I, is that right? What about the time before that? Was that also luck? I mean, the time before that, uh, she uh, she spiked my drink, so you know that's uh, could have happened to anyone, really. Right, and the time before that, she stabbed you in the thigh, and the time before that, she stabbed me in the thigh. <laughs> No, that one stabbed me in the thigh, too, so it was like, you know... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, uh, I, uh, I, I hear you. I can, I can straighten up. He, uh, he kind of leans back a little bit. How about a nice girl? One who doesn't do drugs and doesn't have many guns. Uh, I met a girl to. uh, she has a gun. <laughs> <laughs> How riveting. What else do you know about her? Does she have uh, a criminal history? How many teeth does she have? Uh, probably and the normal amount. <laughs> uh, well, that's one good thing. Don't bring her back here. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think that would be a good idea anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, that uh, the Serena check down at the pet shop though. I think there's a real uh, there's like a real like spark there. I got to you know, kind of sweep in when it was all over, do the chivalry thing. Uh, so you did get involved <laughs> after the fact. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's that's just like you know you see someone someone leaves a twenty dollar bill on the ground, you can pick it up, right? Obviously. <laughs> Hmm. Well, if she runs a pet store, she can't be crazy, right? Well, she, I mean, at least not as crazy as the guy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the guy. <laughs> she had a gun! 
Yeah, she definitely tried to shoot Billy. <laughs> well, I hope that one works out better. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I uh, I won't I won't bring her around here. I'll uh, you know, I'll, I'll play it cool. Oh, so you're already dating her? Fantastic. N- no, I mean you know if we. Yeah, if, whatever. <laughs> oh, so you're already what planning you, your you victory. Don't, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, he readjusts his glasses. I'm afraid I have to worry about it. It's, it's. I worry about many things with you. <laughs> if you this... keep if you keep attracting crazy girls, then I'm going to be doing your father so, so dirty. <laughs> yeah. He comes around and, uh, and, uh, and puts a hand on your shoulder. He didn't want his little Jojo getting hurt. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he, uh, Josh <laughs> closes his eyes for a second. It's like, briefly, like, tenses up a little, like, he's, 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 like, pissed off, but is immediately like, nope. Reacting that way is not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. No, uh, I I understand. Um. Hey, so there was something I wanted to ask about. Actually, it's all right. Oh, sure. I've got nothing but time. It's only what midnight. Night's night's still young. Uh. So were you around, like? What do you know about the uh, the whole like melting shit? Hmm. Well, I know that the Jump City Department of Tourism said it had something to do with climate change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but those guys are like fucking stupid and also liars. True. But as far as we're concerned, that is the truth. Okay. Then uh, I guess. Let me ask a, a slightly different question. What do you think happened? What like do I you think actually happened? yourself? Hmm. What do I think happened? He gets a he gets a shitty smile. I think it was aliens. <laughs> they came down and tried to tried to uh tried to uh what's the word? Ultimatum! Yes, they said uh they said give us what we want or we'll blow up Jump City, and then nobody cared. <laughs> I mean, fair, but like, can if I if I promise to like not date any crazy girls for at least like six months, <laughs> can you give me like a real answer? Talk is like, extremely cheap, Joshua. What do you want me to give you? <laughs> I, can't, I can't give you. How about a smile? <laughs> All right. If I smile and ask nicely, will you give me a, a, like an actual answer? It's a start. All right. He, he, he's like, uh, he hangs his head low and raises it back up, and is like. <laughs> and gives a gives a big like toothy grin. You see the flash of a phone camera. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fuck my life. <laughs> Walked right into it. Alright, don't all right, don't don't screw around with me, man. I'm I'm like really serious. He uh, he he sits on the table. Why are you suddenly so interested? It's been sitting uh, there for years now. Yeah. On the way back from, you know, the job, I passed by the uh, the lost grid. He, he squints. That's pretty far away. Yeah, well, I took a stupid way back. <laughs> <laughs> Seems you do that a lot, Joshua. Oh, yeah, you know me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a go-getter. <laughs> I just get around. That is what your father said. Can you look just just like tell me tell me one thing. 
Okay. Like, we, you and and my, or my dad, like, the whole, you know, us, we didn't right. have anything to do with it, right? He, uh, he, he looks at you with a very serious look. I can assure you that our family had no say in the matter. He, like, super did it. <laughs> I, I don't know how this works in this game, but is there an equivalent of, like, sense motive? Sense motive? Like, is, is would, there a brains thing or anything? If Lex like, wanted you to, you could have a, a post-brains roll. Uh, that won't be uh, that won't be necessary. Uh, as you're uh, as you're repeatedly uh, as you're repeatedly prodding at uh, at Motley here, uh, he's uh, he's kind of notorious for his cool demeanor that he only breaks for the sake of clowning on other people. Mm -hmm. um, you as you keep jabbing at him with these questions, you don't see uh, you don't see like any change on his face, but you do see something about him flare up, an unseen force for just a moment and it's quickly quashed away anything else no that's it um yeah no sorry it was just a just a weird day but it's kind of late and i'm probably getting a little loopy myself very likely go on head to bed oh well before you do he turns around yeah. Uh, have you redeemed that beta key for Aldwell Heroes yet? Um, <laughs> Motley I'm... has made a habit of stuffing beta keys for games that he's currently playing down your throat. Whether or not you humor him is your own call. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure my rig can run it, but you know what? I'll, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> oh, that's where your doubts are? I'm sure I have an extra one. I, I mean, I don't want to, you know, you already pay me pretty well, so, you know. God fucking I, damn I it, are those gamer bottom. glasses? <laughs> God no, damn it. Fucking gunners. Oh, oh, they're, not, they're, not, you. they're not gunners. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Josh is like, yeah, no. I mean, uh, if it's the latest, the latest hit from Porter Molyneux, then yeah, you know, <laughs> check it out. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, off you go, then. Yep. Um. Yeah, as, as he uh, he gets up from the couch here, um, Josh, I don't know if this should be a secret action, but I'm not going to bother making it secret, secret. Um, as he, he gets up from the couch here, uh, Josh, like, straightens his jacket, and um, a uh, his, his normal actual phone is in his pocket, but he has, he has a separate burner phone. Which uh, just just so happens to kind of tumble out of a jacket pocket and land underneath the table. All right, see you, boss. Good night. Um, and uh, as he uh, as he walks away, Josh is gonna flip open his actual phone and uh and turn on a little app so that he can uh listen through this phone yeah so as you're uh, as you're fumbling around in your pocket hold on don't don't oh. look lost. okay <laughs> as you're as you're fumbling around in your pocket taking your phone out uh you you feel like something warm is running down your face coming from your lip piercing uh-oh he, he touches his face you uh you you touch your face you wipe uh, you wipe it off a little bit expecting blood yeah. but it's not blood it's got a silver sheen to it almost Gross. as if your piercing were melting does it feel hot like is my face burning or is it uh nope what the fuck 
Eh. Eh. Uh, is this... Is there more more to this development, or is this just a passing phenomenon? No, it seems to have stopped. Okay. Alright. Ugh. Oh, it's like fucked up now. I'm gonna have to get this replaced. God damn it. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Did, uh... Do I have the sense that this happened when Motley went Super Saiyan for 0.2 seconds? Yeah, if you're capable of putting those two points together. I'll, I'll, I trust Josh. Must have been right. those gamer glasses. So, yeah, <laughs> the light, it was magnified through his gamer specs. <laughs> All right. No. Um, I don't know if there's anything that immediately is going to come of this little bug, but uh, either way, Josh is going to head on out. Yeah, that's that's about the end of the development, and that's about the end of the time we have. So, all right. So we'll see what happens next time on Cheer Up. Oh, yeah. fantastic! Uh, here's the Imgur for uh, folks. Oh, oh Imgur, I love those. Fucking love this tune. It's really good. <laughs> it's really yeah. good. Aw. Uh, 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 as we as we get more into this, I'm realizing that this uh, this title card really oversells how cool Josh is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Josh is kind of a ween. <laughs> Josh is a ween. Jack looks dangerous. Yeah. Isadora, Isadora looks, Isadora looks like, conscious. Yeah. <laughs> Donna looks about right. Yeah, Donna looks about right. Donna John. looks a little meaner. Almost. Yeah, no. I... <laughs> she um, says sorry half the time, so... Well, I'm sorry. I'll be sure to get a weenie version commissioned from Sam <laughs> for all of your <laughs> No, I... Junior version. I prefer it, honestly. I think it's fun. Yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> I, like uh, I mean, it makes sense, because be in JoJo... Fest. You know, like, all, all of the, like, big, cool splash pages for JoJo make everyone look like a badass, and then it's like, what happens in this episode? Oh, Polnareff, Polnareff licks a toilet. Licks a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Polnareff gets killed in a hotel room. Polnareff gets killed in a bathroom. <laughs> Polnareff gets killed in a hotel bathroom. <laughs> uh, first up from The Handle is Jam. Oh, well, wonderful. Aw, oh, spunky. Miles is gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. Thank you very much. Uh, from Mistborn. I spit on people when I first meet them. It helps bring them down to my level. It also helps me figure out if they are a witch. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Also, for, also from Mistborn. Grandpa, why? <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> Remember everything I've taught you. Farewell. <laughs> but but I've learned nothing. <laughs> uh, from Mistborn. We must consult the sacred tome. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> That's Excellent. True. Uh, let's see here. From uh, Judah Denoz. Uh, Goi time. <laughs> 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 Buffalo Wild Wongs, a great, a great place, place to visit. To visit. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, from Mike the Bean, League of <laughs> Depression Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's it's hockey, snakes, mystery. Punching bag. A punching bag. And oh, drugs. Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, I, I didn't know the Jackrabbits were a hockey team. That's... They're a baseball team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why they're so bad. They keep joining with hockey gear. <laughs> uh, from Mistborn. Dude, what is this? It's a list of the 25,000 people who have wronged me over the course of my life. I warned them. I told them I was going to make a really <laughs> long list. <laughs> <laughs> That's about where Josh peaks. <laughs> Mistborn. End of the road, friend! Any last words? God, I am hungry for a six-inch meatball sup. <laughs> uh, from Mike the Bean. Oh my god. That truck came out of nowhere. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your dumbass lore. <laughs> I did. <laughs> uh, from Mistborn. Oh god, I love leaves. A healthy and delicious snack. Oh how I love the crunch. <laughs> you yeah. fucking love Farewell to King so much. I have to resist the yeah. urge to have him talk too much. <laughs> uh, from Lester 2020, it's the crew. It's the League of Depressed People. <laughs> Cheer up. Uh, <laughs> this is great. I love it. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> from Lester 2020. The Price Slide. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Excellent. They just kept uh, going. Uh, from Zero, a new artist. Yay! It's, it's the little bean. Little bean. The little bean. He needs more bean! obnoxious colors. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, from Johnny Dragon. It's my girl. Hell yeah. <laughs> very nice. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, from Lester 2020. <laughs> oh, yeah. There it is. I love that delivery of like, wait, is this real ass Excalibur? But you realize you are not King Arthur. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna level with you. I wanted to do that since the moment you told me what your stand. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, let's see here. From zero. Let's see. Well, we let's got see. additions to cheer yeah, up. No, it's, it's about a one-time air horn. Not yet. The League of Depressive People. A Chinese Western restaurant. Uh, just a guy on a roof. Cheeseburger kid. <laughs> uh, Bulldoze at times too. It's a clash and Excalibur. Fantastic. <laughs> that does about sum it up. Excalibur. Does he? Does, does he? Does he still like cheeseburgers though? That's the real question. <laughs> oh, it it'll it'll be really hard to get uh, to get Ozzy to not like cheeseburgers. <laughs> we'll work on it. Uh, this is really cool. And then from Meerschaum. Oh, oh, that's cool. Hell yeah. Oh, oh my god, really that's bad. awesome. Ah oh, man, Jump City is not a great place to visit. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> visit the rest of it, just not this part. Don't visit this part. It's bad. Yeah, I. No, uh, this is this is a really good rendering of fucking the the last grid because that really is the most interesting and horrible part of jump city oh <laughs> my god i gotta say the the effort you put into the like the drawing of both yeah. jump city and also the map all mm -hmm. of the wrong things <laughs> on that map and be yeah. fucking dying yeah. greenland parentheses denmark <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was really good oh, yeah i just I, I, I basically just traced a map, which is something I had absolutely no reason to do. I could have just shown the map, but too much effort in the wrong place is the JoJo way. Yeah, oh yeah. my god, I believe we got a comment from Ziv in chat that's like, okay there, Rocky, which is literally <laughs> the best compliment you can yeah, get. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, there, there was also an update from Zero for uh, that previous drawing. Oh, I'll yeah. Show. Our uh, little neon rose has got some some more flair going on. Oh, fantastic! Oh, Wonderful. lovely! Ooh. Fan, Thank you very much. I won't do the noise again because it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm glad. I'm glad Zero at the very least likes these stands. Hmm. I, I I love them. them. I mean, my character doesn't, but I do. Oh yeah, they're uh, great. Man, I <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I hope you guys are too. Oh, oh yeah. God. yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that ah. there and kiss the lust rider. <laughs> 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 Looking for love, give it a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the only time you've decided to participate this fight, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in fairness, he was right. It doesn't work if you're far away. <laughs> yeah. I also like how, I love how Farewell to King simultaneously knew that it was Excalibur and would do that, but didn't know that it was called Excalibur. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, fuck that stand. Uh, <laughs> hey, Lamp. Hey! Thanks a bunch for running this. This is real fun. Yeah. Oh, Thanks thank so you so much for thank you so much for being here and being awesome. You guys, you guys are making this an absolutely fantastic experience. Give <laughs> give yourselves a great big round of applause or a bath in tomato soap. Oh, so, yeah. 
God. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much. Uh, thanks so much for everyone coming out here. Thanks for giving art. Right? Thanks for donating. That's for, thanks for just being here and doing your thing. Your support means the absolute world to us. Yeah. Thank you for being here this time, and thank you for being here next time. Say goodbye, chat, everybody. Bye, chat. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.